What's up, man? <laughs> Another Tuesday night. Tuesday night, so we're here. We are uh, TV man up a pound of headache for uh, the last couple of hours. I've had a pounding headache too for the last couple of hours. You know why? Uh, I had to hear you bitch about yours. Yeah, well, it, uh, it's, I took two Advils to try to calm it down, and, and normally that helps. If it didn't help, things got worse. So I took a third Advil and I just took a fourth Advil right before we came on here tonight. So I'm it, it so your story it's you're telling those, us is you're gonna overdose pounding. on Advils by the end of the day. No, it's one of those pounding headaches that I just yeah, it's brutal. Anyways, it's Tuesday. Yes, it is. It is May twentieth, two thousand fourteen. Okay. Yes, it is. And uh, it's getting close to summer. We're gonna talk Monday Night Raw from last night. That they're working on that pool. I noticed I was off camera over there. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the pool is supposed to open Memorial Day weekend, but uh, yeah, there's no water currently in the but pool. But they're almost done cleaning it, so they just gotta fill it and then chlorine. And yeah, I think that's it, right? It does seem like they're making progress. It takes a day to fill it, day to clean it, and get it, you know. Legally, whatever. Bap, uh, bap, uh, <laughs> Problem I have with chlorine. that, though. Okay, if you're gonna open the pool on Memorial Day weekend, I mean that's a great idea. Memorial Day weekend, that's kind of the official start of summer, right? Everybody goes camping, and then you know picnics. you open you picnics and everything picnics. else. You open up summer with Memorial Day. It's like the official opening to summer, and then you close it down with Labor Day later in the year. And I didn't even know that. Okay. Memorial Day opens it and Labor Day kind of I did not know that. Right. So anyways. You learn something new every day. <coughs> you just learn something new. My brain just got a new wrinkle. You learn a lot from me. Yeah, I don't know about all that. But, uh, so anyway, <clears throat> the point I'm trying what to is make is Memorial Day, you would think they're going to open the pool. Well, if they fill the pool on Friday and then open it is on Memorial Day this Saturday, weekend? yes. Oh, I didn't Memorial know that Day either. weekend's coming up this weekend. Okay. So if they were to fill the pool on Thursday or Friday and then open it, it's going to be freezing cold, so why not fill the pool That's a true. couple of weeks before well, Memorial Day? Way to heat it. Let it warm up so that... That doesn't matter. might have a pump or something. I the water. Maybe water. that's what they're installing is a pump to heat the fucker up. You know Could what I mean? Be. But uh, it's a nice You don't need pool. to heat this room up. I can tell you, that shit right now. Dude, it's cold in here. You've had, the AC, you've had the AC running for the last hour. Hour? Yes. Try 20 minutes. 20 minutes, we came in here to set up at 7.15, 7.30. 7.30, I didn't get out of the shower until 7.30. So, so it's it been like running for 35 minutes, and, and it's cold in no, here. No, we turned it off 10 minutes. It's a little it bit chilly. 20 minutes. But anyway, so uh, so hopefully, you know, everybody, a lot of people are going away this weekend for uh, Memorial Day, you know. And then we had uh, okay. Raw last night was a, uh, a taped show you uh, watch it? from London. I watched it. Yes, sir. I watched it. About half of it, and then I muted it. So really? Music, yeah. You weren't? Yeah, I thought you were in here watching. No, it. About halfway through, I changed my mind. <coughs> to watch something else. I'll tell you what, man. The uh, the rating came out today, and granted, they've got um, a lot of people uh, did what I did. <laughs> I mean, they've got tough competition with you. Know, the NBA playoffs are ongoing right now. You've got the NHL finals as yep. well. Uh, a lot of stuff going on on. on a lot TV of networks have space. sitcoms on Monday nights. Too, yeah, prime yeah. Time. Well, when they do a three-hour show, they compete with that that peak hour. That what is it? The uh, eight-hour? What do they call it? Prime that time. That eight to nine. Yeah, that prime time yeah. slot. Even nine to ten. You know. Yeah. So uh, man, the rating came out um, about an hour ago. You and, told me uh, when I was shaving. I didn't hear you. Two point seven. What man. was it? Two point seven. Ouch. Yeah. Well, last week it was a 2.8. Was it a 2.88? Rounded it was like up a 2.86 2. or 2.88 or something so like that. So it was that. rounded to a 2.9. Whatever it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was up to a 2.9 yeah. uh, final uh, you know, rounded out rating. Like you said, this week to be a 2.7 what? 2.72. Oh, wow. So it was rounded so down. That's a legit 2.7. So 2.72. They went, mm. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's this is bad news for WWE across the board. Network subscriptions was the first big blow. Mm. Then that new deal with NBCU, which we'll talk about. Right. We haven't even started. Yeah, that we discussion. haven't mentioned that. But That's, um, and yeah, then the, so there's the that. Stock, we haven't the talked stock about. Stock is yeah. a result of those things, and now the ratings are going down. They're losing their pay-per-view distribution, so they're not even factoring that into their business in uh, trouble, revenue man. streams. They're in trouble. Yeah, they are in trouble. They're, uh, yeah, they're in trouble. They're, There's they're no other way to put it. I mean, like the, the big mainstream. Vince McMahon is trending number one today on Facebook. Is Facebook he? added this new little trending thing in the top corner. I saw it? that. I love I'm it. Right there, yeah. I love it because I don't follow TMZ and shit like you do. So right. if it's something that I care about, because anything real big, big names, people I like, 
famous people, it, you know, if they're in the news, it'll be in that top scroll right there. Mm. So that's how I know every day what's going on. Mm. And today, number one was Vince McMahon. I clicked it, and it was a bunch of mainstream articles, which I made a, uh, an article myself about, just kind of yeah. linking to them. The different columns. You wrestlingnews.com column. Yeah. Well, no, that was I was just talking no, about an article okay. I did, a news article all right. for my other job. Gotcha. But um, gotcha. the headline that all the mainstream media outlets grabbed was uh, Vince McMahon. Some said some said WWE loses three hundred and fifty million dollars yeah. in one day. It's crazy. Because of the stock, it? the stock drop. They went from a a billion over a billion dollar company. Yeah. To damn near, you know, not only say half that, but shit, bro. They it's, lost a it's giant not, I mean, chunk of uh, it's it's of, uh, stock value. money. It's stock yeah. money, so it's money that Vince never saw, but knew that he well, had. Right, he, he draws a salary and he gets bonuses, and he's got his uh, his uh, his stock, yeah, his stock it's, shares. Yeah. It's that. Well, that's what it was. It was Which stock those shares. Those became that worth a whole lot less. less. Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty much what it's money that Vince had. But that's in the, stocks, the company's but, public, so that's the company's money. Yeah, that's what they're worth at least. Right, absolutely. So it right. just dropped that much. That's significant. Hundred and fifty. And then you got people. Day. And you got people saying that executive management should be fucking axed. Now you got two different investigations going on for yeah. uh, two different fraudulent yeah. claims yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? Like they got a lot of bad things going on at once right now. And we'll two we'll get different all that. companies, two different law firms, yeah. like you said, are yes. uh, are investigating. What's up? Uh, don't don't get angry. We're, Shoot the shit here. Shoot the shit. What's up with the big pimple right here? It's not. I don't think it's a pimple. Are you talking about the two things right here? Uh, there's one big one right up right, here. No, uh, right. Don't there. touch me. All right. Yeah, right okay. above my eye. Yeah. 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 It's a big that, pimple. There was two of them, and I was couldn't get them, so I kept fucking picking and pulling. The shit <laughs> and then it came out. <laughs> yesterday, I finally got it. Yeah, today this is, I guess, what it looks like. Isn't it? Well, you got a clean face. You normally, uh, yeah. every time I look over, well, I see before, a big pimple glaring me right now. I got a clean face every Tuesday, every day, every other, because I shave for the show. Every other day of the week, it's fucking stubble or a big, yeah. disgusting yeah, yeah, that's beard. that's what I got, man. I yeah. didn't have a chance to uh, take a shave shower. often. I, I don't sure. like it. Yeah. But anyways, so now every time I look to the left... Wah, 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 wah. He's staring at you. Big fucking pimple staring me right in the face. He says, I don't want to piss you off. I can get two shits about it. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. But anyways, so I don't like I'm getting to become a big fat ass again. It's because of these. You're not stuff. getting fat. No, no, no. I don't know what I know. you're talking about. I've always had the fat no, 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 face no, no. and the fat of all, cheeks. I'm gaining weight is what I should say. I've gained about 20, 25 pounds you're since You're gaining I a moved beer, beer belly. That's my point. I'm right. like, the pool's about to open. And I'm a single guy. Like, you know, I don't want to go around with big belly and shit. But it's these fuckers right here. And I was saying, getting fat, I know myself. That yeah. I go in giant swings in life. I'll either be really fat right. or really skinny. Yeah. And I see myself going on another one <laughs> towards that way. I got it. Well, you got to tone down stuff. the beer, man. I like beer. Tone down the beer a little bit. Yeah, I'm thirsty you know? a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> there's Coke, there's Pepsi in there. Those are just you know? bad. They got the fucking cl- the sodium and uh, the uh, calories and all oh, that yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, so here's what we're going to do. We A uh, couple, couple of quick notes here. Um, the chat room. We were having some issues last week. I told you guys that I've been working with my server company where we've had a lot of issues on the uh, on the website over the last you know couple of months. And uh, <coughs> finally got off Cheetah Web and uh, went to... Host, Hostico? I don't know. Hostico or something. I know they're a lot better. But, um, they are an awesome company and they're helping. They're a lot better. Um, a lot better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were with Cheetah Web, but ten, you gave them 10 years of business. 10 years or something yeah. like that. And I should have never wasted all no, that money. That was though. like some jerk but off dude, with a box in his uh, I came over, basement that just sold some space out to bro, you and yeah. made a fucking business out of it. I came to this new company and this new company has, uh, you know, everything comes included where they optimize the websites and they go in and they They'll upgrade your, everything. Um, They'll do script support, any script support. For you. Oh they, my like, god! Physically, Dude, though, if you say yeah, anything, this needs fixed, they don't tell you how to fix anything. it. Anything. They don't tell you how to fix it. They go fix it for you. They fix it. They go Free. right in and fix it. So all these issues, Free. you know, pop ups and things like that, were coming up, all fixed. No more. Free. Free. Yeah. All fixed. Just it's, give them a plug. It's, uh, it's, it's going right. Uh, Hostico.com. Is that it? Yes. Or, or Google Hostico. Hostico. Go. Hostico. Hostico. Okay. Right. Yeah. Google that. These guys, these guys are awesome, man. So they've optimized the other uh, the website. They've upgraded all the uh, the back end stuff. 
They've uh, everything's up to date, and they've increased the security on the websites so that none of this stuff would happen again. Yeah, that's so, why we didn't have galleries for so long. And then right, I right. right. Fix that. Everything's been uh, been updated on the uh, on the website. So basically, what they did, uh, they removed JavaScript, which the chat room uses every week for the uh, for the live chat that we have. So we were able to fix that about an hour ago. Before we, I've been working with them all day, going back and forth with us, uh, support tickets, this, that, and the other thing. But um, they were able to fix. That. So you guys can now go to wzronline.com slash chat, wzronline.com slash chat, and, uh, and they, see they've been complaining. On the left hand oh, side, Tell left hand, left yeah. hand side will be the media player. The right hand side will be the chat. Yes. I know that wasn't working last week, but this back week in it line. is. Yeah, and, they, is. and like I said, they were complaining not just last week, but the last couple weeks. We asked for feedback at the end of every, at the end of every show, excuse me, mm. on uh, Facebook, and last week and last couple weeks they've been saying we don't incorporate the chat comments enough we don't really they say we don't pay attention and i always mm. read it but we rarely address what they're saying on the air we should try and mix some of their shit in here more often right and so then we got we got to make a concerted effort we got to agree on this yes we got to make a concerted effort to involve the chat to room get more. these people more involved absolutely yeah. absolutely they take the time to and sit then there and re real quick um i i am you know you and uh, Oh, one sorry. week, I don't mute this I'm phone. sorry, Fucking man. Guy. What are you going to do? You didn't mute the phone this week. No, you didn't have it sitting there. It's in your you, pocket. Uh, you mute the phone, right? I always mute the phone. I don't even tell them. I just mute it. But um, anyways, so it's... Uh, yeah, look go. what just happened. Just threw the flow right off. So it did chugga it, chugga chugga. So let's get the chugga Service. going again. Come on. Chugga chugga. Yeah. Back on the track. Choo -choo. So uh so anyways, um we've got uh you know, every everything on the websites is uh, up and running, everything is uh is good to go. Um the other bigger note that I want to talk about is bigger note. the first week of June, I believe it is June third. I wanna say June third, so oh, that's June not 3rd. this week, not next week. We are going to have a special guest. Oh, that's right. Right here, oh, man. live on WZR TV. If you don't follow me on Facebook, have you talked about um, it? I did put you it up on Facebook. The announcement for the show. You should have well, yeah, promoted that we I had should've. an announcement. But um, and then when they do, yeah. you give them the announcement. Give you just the announcement. gave it right away on Facebook. Give them the announcement for those who have not heard. Well, for those who have not heard, I don't want to give the announcement. You're the guy who's tracked them down. Well, he emails us now because he's got the right. website. He's got the website. He, he emails the website all the right and reporters he's and stuff. And writing and blogs and doing everything and else. You, you went but out of your way to track them down and get them. And track them down and uh, Vince Russo is going to be alive right here on WZR TV. It is basically... I should call in. He's going to call in, and uh, basically anything goes. Uh, it's going to be a shoot interview where we're going to be taking your live phone calls. So a lot of keyboard warriors out there talk shit about Vince Russo and how he killed WCW and anything Russo touches, he ruins, this, that, and the other thing. And you got the others who, or at least him himself, will tell you that he made the Attitude Era. Yeah, and he's responsible for Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock and, yeah. and all these people. It will, we will. I will address that. I'm not afraid to ask the questions. You know that everything. And I know my is stuff. Open. But we so, need though. I need help, and I'm going to ask the audience here, not to hijack your speech. Yeah. But um, because I think it's pretty much a given. Everybody knows I'm going to be doing the majority of the research. I'm going to be doing the majority of the interview. You usually like to let me conduct the interviews, and then you chime in here and there. All right. So I got to do the. I got. I'm really, going to let the fans. I got to conduct this interview. That's what. Well, I'll have. I'll ask the questions they're going to ask for the most part. For the most part. Right. Uh, if they ask stuff I don't think of, absolutely, yeah. But that's what I'm getting to now, and what I need the majority of my help I need is his TNA run, which was a long run. Right. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. You know, Ten years, maybe. I mean, I, I remember I was watching the only time I watched on a regular basis. It right. was in the first year or two when they were doing the weekly pay-per-views right. for $5 or yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. I was one of the assholes spending money every week watching it. Mm -hmm. I'd get some, I was fat then, too. I would get some nachos. I'd sit there and drink beer and eat nachos. Hey, you were here. You and I were over in East Greenbush when Vito popped out of the ambulance. Yeah, we talked about, about it later on. Times. Right, right. Yeah, but that but was when I was watching right regularly, there. though, Vince Russo was a part of it then, too. He was on camera then. He was on Yeah, camera. I don't know if he was right. working behind the scenes. I don't remember that or not. I know... He, Pretty soon into the company's history, he was part of the creative right. process. Right. Because uh, actually, Jeff Jarrett's dad, Jerry Jarrett, was part of the company. <coughs> right. Kind of, even kind of set it up for Jeff. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. got the, the pay-per-view clearance form or whatever, I think. I believe that's what the story is. But either way, he was a major part of the uh, the, the uh, executive team, as we'll call them. And basically, as I heard it, Jeff Jarrett chose Vince Russo over his own dad. 
Right. Not only his own dad, but the guy that pretty much made the company and gave it to him, you know, so he could have a wrestling company. Jeff Jarrett chose Vince, Vince Russo, Russo over his, his own dad, father. Jarrett. Right, right. Yeah, right. but either way, so Vince Russo's well, been around since all the way back then, so he had a nice 10 year run at TNA, give or take a couple years, I don't know the exact amount. But my point is, I need your guys' help because I didn't really follow TNA that much throughout that whole run. Right. So I'm sure there's a lot of great questions that are obvious questions or at least good questions that we should ask that I won't even think of. Even in researching, because a lot of that Absolutely. shit, you don't know the behind-the-scenes right. stuff. You just can well, and, and not only that, but uh, listen, you see it all the time. Any post that we do on the website, uh, you know, regarding Vince Russo. Real quick, just to finish. I, cut me off the, one more time. Cut me Go off. Ahead. I was trying, I, it was a big build-up for this. I need the questions yes. for CNA. So I need that sent to me. I'll put it up on Facebook. Okay. Uh, and you can do the same. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone, B-O-O-N-E-W-Z-R, Matt Boone, W-Z-R, and uh, Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark. WCR. Yeah, we'll, uh, TNA questions I specifically need. Yeah, for Russo. We'll put it up uh, once we get closer to uh, to the interview. But I see it all the time on the websites. You know, any post involving or re- regarding Vince Russo, a lot of people always comment, Vince Russo killed WCW, yeah. this, that, and the other thing. So this is your chance. Instead and of sitting behind a computer, yeah. call up. We're going to yeah, open we'll the phone. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna open we, have the, we have enough lines to do that. If he calls Absolutely. in, we can still take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. But uh, yeah, that was the other thing was that. Um, the fuck was I gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, fucking yeah, yeah that baby crying kind of threw me off. But uh, yeah, whatever. We're gonna open it up live phone calls. Um, so anything that you guys want to ask him, if you if you oh, think yeah, he you killed were, WCW, if yeah. you think he, he ruined TNA, you were uh, talking about how the fans. Him. Anytime you talk about Vince Russo on Facebook, he gets a lot of, of response. He's yeah. a controversial, hot button topic kind of yep. guy, uh, mm-hmm. person. And I think it's the same with TNA, which is why it's great to ask this audience particularly. Because mm-hmm. you know how many people, you say something bad about TNA on Facebook, poof, poof, poof. Oh, they, they jump in. on it. Right, they right, go right. nuts. Right. They go fucking nuts. Yeah, so yeah. we got a lot of TNA diehards out there, and like, <laughs> a lot of people that, that view Vince Russo very strongly one way or right. the other. So it's the perfect, but they, it's they the view, perfect guest for this show. They view him strongly with, with comments behind a keyboard. Yeah. We're giving you guys the opportunity. There's a live phone number. Well, that too. If you got something to say, call up. But be respectful. I mean, don't come on here and be like, Vince yeah, Russo, you're a shit. bitch. You're a bitch. You're a cocksucker, blah, blah, blah. Just be respectful. Just, uh, you know, if you want to ask him, Vince, there's a lot of people that say that you killed WCW or that you ruined TNA. Uh, how do you respond to that? You know, uh, just be respectful with yeah. uh, with your questions. I've, but anything goes. And I've listened to a million shoot interviews with Vince Russo. Watched a bunch, too, on DVD. Yeah. Hey, Fave commentaries, our video. He's, he's all those a good guys. interview. Keller even did a long one that he put a DVD out on. Yeah. And I bought the DVD. You know, right. I've seen a lot of Vince Russo's uh, shoot interviews. Right. I've heard a lot of them. You can ask him anything. 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 Anything goes. Anything. He will, anything he, will, he, will, he will answer anything. So he's, and right. like we were just pointing out, I think for this particular audience, specifically, great guest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great okay. fucking guest. Absolutely. And that's a guest. One of the rare guests from that area era of time. Right. Other than the really top guys, Austin, Rock, McMahon, because we got us a good book then. But right. that era of people, we pretty much had damn near everybody. We've yeah. never had Vince Russo on the show. No, we Ever. haven't. You're right. So this will be a really, right. I'm really looking forward to this. No doubt. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Yeah. 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 Um. So check it out. Let's get these plugs out of the way, and then we will move on. We're going to talk Monday Night Raw from last night in our numero dos. We're going to be taking your live phone calls and a rapid fire as well. Also going to get the chat room more involved this week. Take some uh, some questions, We're all in there talking about Russo right now. Yeah, yeah. excited yeah. like we Looks are. like June 3rd. We're shooting for June 3rd. It's going to be that first week. Uh, Russo's got a couple of interviews coming up. Up. Wants to spread them out a little bit, so it'll it's be not our, back to back to back. Uh, we'll have it'll be the post payback show. Yeah, June that'll be a big one. Payback. So we'll have our man to go three event. hours if uh, absolutely. I'm yeah, down, yeah. yeah no Where's doubt. payback? Chicago, so they'll probably still be on the East Coast for Raw. Oh, I heard CM Punk's coming back at payback. Yeah, right. Which Chicago? means uh, if they're on the East Coast for payback and Raw, they'll probably be on the East Coast for SmackDown. So they're, yeah, if we go. Is Chicago hours, East Coast or yeah. Central? Or right. it was Central. It's either it's either it's one of the things. It's either East Coast or an hour behind, whatever right, that yeah, is, yeah. Mountain Central, whatever the fuck. But either way, we won't be able to go three hours unless we are willing to miss yeah. crackdown tapings that we Yeah, no doubt. Which I am. Well, you know, if we have Russo on, then no doubt. Fuck no, yeah. I, absolutely. Um, speaking of SmackDown, uh, WWE already taped SmackDown, uh, just like they did with Raw yesterday overseas. They're at the O2 Arena in London, England, so it's about a five-hour delay. I want to say a... Uh, Two weeks? What? No, doing away. Uh, a. Martinez in the chat said he would like to see... What the 
fuck was the other name? It, Blank and Roddy Piper on the show. Uh, Piper were working on it. Piper, Piper was still working on it. The other name, I forget who. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was, I don't think it's somebody we can get. I forget the name, but I, I think it's somebody that... Piper we were working on, and uh, Russo is, is confirmed. We just need to set that date. I think it's going to be June 3rd, though. I'm pretty sure. I just got to... Go back and forth uh, with the emails. But you know, uh, I'm going to get Cornette. Everybody's talking about Cornette now. Cornette? Cornette and Russo hate each other. Yeah. Or yeah. Cornette really hates Russo, and Russo will pretend like he doesn't God, hate Cornette. God, I wish Cornette, we could get him on at the same time, but Russo wouldn't be down for it. No. I don't think really. Cornette Russo's would. always avoided. Cornette definitely Yeah, would, but uh, Russo, Russo always... that's one question, and you can ask him. But that's one of the one few questions he'll... He sometimes he'll clam up. Sometimes he'll have a lot to say. Yeah. Uh, most of the time he'll just give a pretty bl- blanket statement that he says... Anytime yeah. he's asked about him in any interview with anybody. Right. And then there's other times where he'll be, you know what, I don't even want to talk about him. Yeah, it's no, kind of move on. Yeah. don't want to talk about him. I don't right, right. Into that. Oh, and Cornette's yeah. always been very open about his hatred Cornette's for open about everything. Russo. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to try and get Cornette on. He's always on Twitter. He's he got a awesome, show man. that he wants he to plug, great. and he does live shows now. Yeah. So he's probably doing interviews right now. I'm going to try and get him for it. Yeah. I never knew if I because you, you went out and got Russo. I didn't know if we if I can get guests, you're willing to have them on. I'll have guests on. Whoever they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. MMA Absolutely. too. MMA too. Okay. I don't know if the the fans would want. Them. I would only get big names in it. Right. right. Only right. top names. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna uh, we're gonna be launching. Uh, it's gonna be coming soon. Yeah, I don't cool. want I don't want to talk much about it, but it's gonna be uh, affiliated with uh, the eWrestlingNews.com website. Uh, there's gonna be an MMA site launching as well. I don't know how much Frank wants to talk about it and, and whatnot, he but we won't uh, we won't mention <laughs> that. But it is there's gonna be a, a new <laughs> MMA website that uh, Boone's gonna be working on here in the uh, in the next month or two or three, they're, whatever it may be. Building an MMA site. Uh, rich guys yeah. building an MMA site around me. It's gonna be a it's uh, before, so you're getting back into the game with yeah, the MMA. A rich guy I built an MMA set around me before. Basically, you get like because I was doing wrestling and I hated wrestling. I was bored to death with it at the time. Yeah. I said, "Yo, let me do an MMA site for you." Who is MMA? You know, so right. he's a rich guy, and he. But uh, I don't like this guy very much right now. But uh, he buys me a domain name for me. Yeah. And then I start uh, running it, and he doesn't even look at it for like two years. Yeah. He turns around all of a sudden. It's making great money. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Son of a bitch, man." Yeah. So then he started putting money into it, and it became an enormous site. And I'm yeah. talking about MMA News. Yeah. Com, of course. Yeah. But uh. So you're gonna get so back in the game. Frank's doing. He's giving yep. me a chance to do it again, and uh. I love MMA. I know. And I'm pretty damn good at what this I do. This is what you want to do with yeah. the MMA and the UFC. I'm pretty so damn good at what I do cool. when I'm it's motivated, cool when, I, when I'm having fun. Yeah. And yeah. I have fun with MMA, so I'm going to really try and make this a cool a cool project. Awesome. Awesome. We'll uh, give you guys more details on that here in the coming weeks. So, let's get the plugs out of the way. Uh, WZROnline.com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. We are here every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time, WZROnline.com, and a host of other websites. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. Go to YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. And we're on Twitter as well. Just go to WZROnline.com. Top navigation bar. A drop down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZROnline.com. The official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. Live chat room on and in progress right now. WZROnline.com. Slash chat. WZROnline.com. Slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. We're going to be uh, taking your live questions out of the chat room in our numero dos as well. And we played it on the pre-show. We actually walked into it and did the Scott Hall, Razor Ramona entrance. did. I don't like it. I don't think we even brought the song up, though. It's Wale. Wale. One of my favorite rappers. Was there. involved in a fight. At Raw. Yeah. A couple of months uh, ago. That guy. And yeah. Uh, yeah, he's one of my favorite rappers. Or he was before he joined Rick Ross. Yeah. Oh! Maybach you know, <laughs> back music shit. and everything else. Yeah, right but um, he, he's a good rapper. But uh, that song... He's good. It's called Razor Freestyle, parentheses, Bad Guy. You should download it. It's really... You and every it. lyric yeah. in the song, I don't know if you guys were listening, it's it's a song of Razor Ramon's theme, the old Razor Ramon theme yep. song. Yeah. And uh, every lyric is about wrestling. Yeah. It's, and he, you could tell. And, uh, and, he, and there's a million songs he's done. Rick Rude, John Cena, he even and brings up Curtis Axel. Papa Shango. Like that, right. fucking, yeah. He even brings up Rusev. And, I mean, he brings yeah. up everybody. He's a huge pro wrestling fan. I mean, yeah, you that's what I'm saying. There's songs wrong. in the past, mainstream songs of his, where he yeah. not a whole song like this, but right. there'll be a wrestling reference or two and like yeah. a, bunch, a bunch of his other songs. Yeah. So you yeah. know he loves wrestling. And, you know, he's at Raw getting in fights and this and that. And uh-huh. then he does a whole freestyle. Huh? All about wrestling to the Razor Ramon theme, which everybody back in the day, 
if you were a rap fan and a wrestling fan uh, around that time, which I was, I was right. you know, seven or eight years old or whatever, right. everybody that was into rap and into wrestling was like, that would be a fucking great beat yeah. for a rap song, yeah. especially and for that time. he finally did it. He finally did it. In the mid-90s, that would have been the perfect time, yeah. too. It, yeah. it was cool. No doubt. All right, uh, so here we go. Monday Night Raw, I know you muted the television I watched half after, of it. Uh, after a while. Yeah. What uh, the, the half that you saw? I don't uh, like watching tape shows, because I already yeah, know what happens. No, I have no. to do the spoilers just like I do play-by-play. Play. I sit there yeah. and write everything, so I know in detail right. every segment and every match. So it's kind of hard to enjoy it when you know everything that's going to happen. Right, right. So it, it, was a, it was a show. I thought it was decent. Yeah, it was. A show. I, it was. It was all right. I mean, we've got uh, we've got WWE Payback not next week. Uh, the week after, it's June first. Yeah, is uh, next is week's payback. the Go Home Raw. Go Home Raw yeah. is, is next week, right? Um, Daniel Bryan. Uh, we need to talk about that. We knew that uh, you know the neck injury. They confirmed it last week on Raw. Yeah, he underwent finally surgery. a big story broke before the show instead of right. Now. <laughs> I know, it right? It broke on Monday, right before Raw. He mm. confirmed the, the the news about the surgery on Thursday on Raw on Monday. Right. So the very right. next day, we had this big story to talk about. Yeah, any other uh, week it would have happened Tuesday early, at nine thirteen p.m. Right, right like, or ten thirteen. Yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10, right when we yeah. go off the air. But uh, so he underwent uh, surgery on Thursday. Yeah. And uh, WWE minor procedure. Doc- uh, well, yeah, minor, my, procedure. minor procedure. Yeah, it wasn't a All fusion right. or anything like that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, it, it, here's the deal. I mean, WWE, I mean, listen, if the guy's going to be out four, five, six months, they're going to need to oh, strip him yeah. of the title. They're going to need to get the title off of him. Um, the idea here is, you know, Stephen McMahon last night on Raw came out, and we'll get into it here in just a second. But well, we'll talk about it now. But she basically came all out week. Demanding. They promoted that they were going to do a big announcement about the status of the WWE right. World Heavyweight Championship. So immediately you're thinking he's getting stripped, and then the news came out that he was going to be on Raw and he wasn't. That was kind of interesting. I thought they were going to do a taped WWE. Yeah. Well, at first he was going to be there. At first he was going to be there, and then it was going to be like, and like you said, like you said, WWE confirmed it. They were going to do a taped. He was going to be right. via satellite or whatever. Well, yeah, they confirmed it on SmackDown. That That's Daniel right. Bryan That's right. was going to be on Raw this week. And then you're thinking, all right, well, Raw's overseas. It's being taped in London. He just had so surgery. He's not going to get on a plane. had surgery. He's not going to get on a plane. Exactly. He's not going to get on a plane and fly, fly all the way over to Raw, London yeah. and obviously not work, but cut a promo. So there was time <laughs> on a pre-taped segment where, you know, Stephanie McMahon would be in the ring and they would go back and forth, shoot it like that, or just have Daniel Bryan cut a pre-taped yeah. Video package itself, and uh, there was no Daniel Bryan at all on Raw yeah. last night. Stephanie McMahon came out and basically said that, um, and that goes to show how often plans change in WWE. Yeah. Where before the weekend they had plans somehow, some way to have Daniel Bryan appear on Raw. You want me to turn on the? Yeah, uh, because they yeah, fuck with the audio that one week. Yeah. Uh, well, it was a little bit last week. Oh. Not too bad. Oh, that's right. We turned it back on because it was yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't ahead. too bad. All right. Um, the other thing too with the with the Daniel Bryan thing. Oh, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say there too. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It, it, it's it's a case of you know they so so Monday comes around. And Stephanie McMahon comes out, cuts this promo on Raw, saying, you know what, I'm not gonna strip you of the WWE World Heavyweight Title, oh, but what I want you to do. Is come to Raw next Monday in Knoxville, Tennessee, and instead of me stripping you of the title, I want you to basically strip yourself of the Relative. title and hand it Forfeited. in. Forfeited. Yeah. Right, right. So what they're doing is they're playing this off, and, and the reason I believe is WWE right now, I'm sure they've got an estimate of, you know, how things are gonna go, how long he's gonna need, well, you know, sure a month or two. Yeah. But I'm thinking that, you know, he had surgery last Thursday, so let's give him this week and then in the next week, and let's see at that point, come this weekend, let's see at that point how Daniel Bryan is progressing well, and how long they think he's going to be out. Now, if the doctor tells him before next weekend or next Monday, hey, you're going to be out, you know, two, three months here, then they're probably going to have to strip him of the title, but if the doctor says... You know, after two weeks of surgery, hey, it's already looking better, uh, and you're only going to miss, you know, a month, then they're going to keep the title on them. But I think they're trying to prolong this as long as possible until time. they can get a better idea yeah. of the timetable that he's going to be out for. Well, and the other thing is, if 
they need to finalize plans for payback now, like because next week, like we said, it's the go home show. It's the last chance to, to hard sell whatever you're, you know, you're promoting. Right. And if you're not going to have a, a main event title match, and it was going to be a very live match we talked about, and uh, if you're not having the title on that show, then that should be made clear by now. And it's kind of not. We're in limbo because next Monday we find out if he gives the belt up, if he keeps it. My guess is he's keeping it because. I think he'll be ready to go buy Money in the Bank, which is about another month and, and a week away. It's mm-hmm. about five, six weeks away still. I think by that point he'll be, he'll be ready to go. That's I, I, I don't, I don't because think otherwise they'd strip him. But they can't strip him the day, the, the Monday before the pay per view. Why would you wait until the, that's the thing on everybody's minds? And you go in the pay per view and there's no title match, there's no nothing. Why would you do that the last week before the show? You wouldn't. So he's going to keep it, and then after payback, it'll be said, well, if you don't defend it by Money in the Bank. And then they'll pretend well, like he's not going to be able to all the way up to win the bank, and then he shows up, and he's we, got the we, neck brace on. We know we know that he's not going to be a payback, and and they're going to shoot this angle next week on Raw. Originally, you know, they thought he might. Right, right. Before but then, he had the but, but but then underwent surgery. So my my feeling is, you know, we know that he's not going to be. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we know we know that he's not going to be on uh, on payback. So let's wait until after payback. After I payback, like, yeah, <laughs> uh, after payback, then we'll get an idea. Listen, is the guy going to be able to work money in the bank? If they feel that he's going to be able to work money in the bank, then they'll keep the title on him. But they're going to they're going to play this they're going to play this up for the next couple of weeks. They've got some time to buy with the payback. We know that he's already not going to be at payback. Yeah. So, so as long as he's wait. good to go buy money in the bank, right? Then, yeah, we don't have to. And, we can make an angle out of it. And that'll be three weeks from from when the surgery took yeah. place. So you've got three weeks. Well, wait, after what three be? weeks, well, surgery was last uh, Thursday. Yeah. You've got this Thursday. You've got the following Thursday, and then you've got that raw. So you're looking at almost three weeks, until, two and a half weeks until the raw after payback. Till the raw. After oh, okay. Payback. All right. I'm saying it's going to be. A, Six seven weeks till he, he would have to be in the ring. Right, right, right. But, but, but and that's the, enough the, time if it wasn't a serious. But the but the raw after payback, the raw after payback, you're going to be two and a half, almost three weeks away from surgery. At yeah. that point, you'll know you'll have a better timetable of okay, we're three Definitely. weeks out of surgery. Now we can look at this guy Agent. and say okay, three weeks out of surgery. How long from this point is he going to need? Is he going to yeah. need two more months from this point, or is he going to need three more weeks? Uh, from 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 this point, yeah. and then they'll be able to know: Do we strip him of the title? So be they're going to play. Tell. They're going to play this storyline of you know, I'm not going to strip you. You relinquish the title. This, that, and the other thing. Yeah. Play that up for a couple of weeks. You know. Uh, so we had Monday Night Raw kicked off, right? What the London crowd last night? I mean, listen. Every every time they go to London, it's an excellent crowd. Of the, course, the crowd is awesome. And don't get me wrong, the crowd was great last night, but there was something, I've heard London crowds, so, how do I put, I've heard London crowds that have been ten times better you know than what I, I saw been, last night. I noticed that night. too, maybe they didn't mic the building as well as they normally Yeah. Do. So it was something where, like, you could tell they were going nuts just by looking at it, but it didn't, yeah. it didn't sound the way it looked. It looked like it was louder than it sounded. So maybe they didn't mic it as well. Anybody in the chat room notice that? I mean, the crowd was great. We I'm not have some saying people there. We got a lot of. Uh, yeah, no doubt. I'm, I'm not saying that the crowd sucked last night because they didn't by any means. There right. were chants. You know, they were singing John singing us sucks. Yeah, and we're, we're not that. incorporating the chat a lot already. I can tell. Here's a uh, Dino UK who brings up a good point, which was that Raw was edited a lot last night. We they reported did. about that. They, they edited actually the, really uh, edited it. The yeah. CM Punk chants at, yeah, at numerous so points during the show. To, were to make it all. so it's not awkward that there's deafening. Death sound yeah. for this chant here and here. And that might have been it too. Let's lower everything so yeah. it doesn't stand out as much. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just could have been something like that. But there was something. You know, we've seen London crowds in the past where the entire show. I mean, it was like that show after WrestleMania. What 29 was it? Uh, where they were in. Uh, I think it was the crowd, the post WrestleMania crowd with the whole Fandango thing and, yeah, and yeah, everything yeah, else, yeah. right? I, and they were crazy. And we've heard London crowds Fandango like was that still over last night. Like we're. Over. Fondango, yeah, doing the thing in, in yeah. London. Adam Rose was another one. They were singing along with the. Uh, we'll See, I didn't Adam, hear that as much. Adam they, Rose, they said it was deafening, and that they said, and I had it muted it uh, right when Rose's segment was getting ready to come on. That commercial break before it, I muted. Yeah, so I didn't hear it, but then I watched it on YouTube today, and it didn't sound. And that was one of the things that stood out to me because I, before I watched the clip, 
uh, and after the show last night, I had heard from feedback that yo the crowd was nuts for Rose's segment, mm-hmm. and that they even continued to sing that oh, oh, oh yeah, right, right, throughout right. The, like the next two matches or something yeah. afterwards. Was well, you true? could you could hear some of that on uh, on That's Raw. That's my last point night. though, and they were saying that the, the reports coming from inside the building was that it was a lot louder than it came up on TV. Yeah, so probably maybe was. they didn't mic the building that way. And everybody in the chat room, I and mean, we've got you know Dino UK. It was edited so yeah, much. John true. John Kearns, yeah, it was edited. Uh, let's see, Harvey UK heavily edited. Winter's I Lair noticed a lot of the audio mm-hmm. levels kept jumping at times. Winner's Lair, they muted the crowd. Oh, Winner's you know. Lair says, "Buddy of mine." Buddy of mine said during the Stephanie McMahon promo, you couldn't hear her. The CM Punk's drowned her out, and none yeah, of that, yeah. none of that was nope. was shown on TV yeah. last night. Yeah, so a lot of people in the uh, in the chat room. So. Paige was over in the uh, UK. Kind of expected they that. Beat her. that. I know. First time she loses on TVs in London. Is that a coincidence? It is weird. They love Isn't to fuck with people in their hometown. They fuck with people in their hometown. Jim yeah. Ross was notorious. Jim Ross. I mean, in Oklahoma. My good God. Oh, watch man. Out. Yeah. You know? Um, so let's see here. Uh, Monday Night Raw last night kicked off. It was uh, Bray Wyatt, right? Yes. He's got a story to tell. Huh. And, uh, That's about his teacher that didn't believe in him or something. Teacher shit. that didn't believe uh, in him. And uh, the crowd was cheering Bray for the most part, man. In the beginning, right? Yeah. Uh, so it was basically a, uh, a promo until John Cena's music. I really uh, found about this, too. Yeah. Well, he, he comes out and he attacks Bray from behind. That's a heel thing to do, attack somebody from behind. I know. Then as the soon crowd as, hated it. As soon as Harper and Rowan try to attack him face to face, he turns and runs and sprints up the ramp and runs away. Right. And then two weeks ago, I think it was, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan was ran running from Kane. Right. Right. It's like when I grew up, top baby faces in wrestling did not run away they from the never bad guys. Ran from the anybody, bad guys right. ran away from the good guys. Mm-hmm. The bad guys would sneak attack from behind, not seeing a sneak and attack and break from behind. It's like. It's weird. It's weird. Man. They're making their baby faces seem like pussies. Exactly. I think the exactly. mindset behind the Cena one was that he outsmarted them. He came from behind when they right. were waiting for him in the front. You're right. He, there's three of them. He took out the head dog and then got away before the other two henchmen could get to him. Right. So I think exactly. it's supposed to be that he outsmarted them, but it's still a very pussy thing to do to have right. your baby face to hit from behind and then run away. Well, that's fine to hit him from behind and outsmart him, but then to run away and mm-hmm. run up the ramp that's after the you're done with it. Yeah. I mean, continue on. You know what I mean? Right. Stand in there face to face with him. So baby face never backs down from a fight. That's the old thing. We had uh, Cesaro and Sheamus, two of the most hard hitting guys in WWE. Sheamus uh, has been having some great. Right, TV matches yeah. that have gone yes. unnoticed largely. Now, Sheamus is a heel or not a heel, or He's you've got him out there. I think they're doing a slow, slow turn. Slow turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they were gonna do the turn. I mean, the original plan was for the turn to happen in Albany, uh, where he threw Dean Ambrose out of the Battle the Royal, title, right? Yeah. And there was right. even discussion. The there was even discussion of putting him in Evolution. Yeah, Sheamus. You know. So you know. Anyway, so we had um, so Paul Heyman. Uh, cut a, a promo before this. Paul Heyman always, Great Paul Heyman always performance as usual. Right on the microphone. Laid down. Oops. Talked about the queen. Something about the dead queen. Yeah, I'm not the dead, dead queen making this guy the king or whatever. Right, I'm right, the Undertaker. Right. You know. well, talked about Brock Lesnar, guy to conquer yeah. the streak, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, Cesaro picked up the win here. Uh, hit a German suplex. Uh, Sheamus was distracted. Paul Heyman, Heyman was on the outside. Him, right. We had, uh, let's see. Oh, Roman well, Reigns. After the match, um, Sheamus goes to shake his hand. That was the heel thing. Oh, you're right. You're and right. Um, Cesaro did the, you know, too cool for school thing. Right, right, shake right. His right. Hand, so. Crowd loved that, too. Crowd yeah. ate up Cesaro, man. We had uh, Michael Cole uh, talked about Roman Reigns was injured overseas on the I can't Antwerp. believe they showed the cut right on TV. It was nasty, PG man. PG, too, and they show a giant gash in someone's face. That was <clears throat> reminiscent of a UFC fight, where you see couple. that all the time in yeah. UFC, where half the eyebrows missing. <sighs> Fucking forget about it. Yeah, you know? it was one in Pride with uh, Fedor and Nogueira. It was their second fight. Yeah, it was their yeah. second fight because the first fight... Nogueira was the unstoppable heavyweight. Nobody could beat him. Uh-huh. And along comes this fucking badass Russian, this little pudgy fucker that balding doesn't look intimidating at all. Right. Runs through all the top guys, gets to Nogueira. People think Nogueira might have trouble, but Nogueira's big thing was he would get his ass whooped and somehow find a way to win. He could yeah. walk submission after getting smashed. Right, right. And uh, Fedor just smashed the shit out and beat him. So the rematch, they have a rematch, and everybody's like, maybe Fedor got lucky, maybe Nogueira you know, get him this time. 
Nogueira was doing much better in the second fight, and then they clashed heads. Yeah. Fedor gets a cut, and there's a famous spot where the fucking doctor or the ref or whoever, on camera, opens the cut with his fingers, and you see the shit oh, wide open. Man, so at first, it was oh. like a nice slit. You know, yeah, like a yeah, half yeah, inch yeah. slit, and then he spreads that fucker open. Why would he do it? I don't know. Gel in there I think or it was mainly because they were going to stop the fight, and they wanted they didn't want the crowd to like because it was the main event. It was a yeah. fight. They, I think they were like, "Yo, he can't, God, you know." Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, yeah like, some hey, of everybody those, make sure you know this isn't a bullshit stoppage. I mean, some of up. isn't it odd how how it was like one a two, perfect real quick. chunk. Yeah, exactly. Taken out. Why? Why is it so perfect? Where does it? It's almost Another like somebody perfect took, one. took a knife. Oh. Just took and a knife and like right. carved it, carved yeah. it out. Another perfect one was. Uh, You're right. Another perfect one was Vitor Belfort, Marvin Eastman in UFC. Yeah. Belfort does like a flying knee or Marvin something. Marvin Eastman. Right. And then boom, boom, hits him twice on the ground. Marvin Eastman looked like he got hit in, in the forehead with a fucking axe. axe. Yeah. It was a, insane. Yeah, it's I'm crazy. Like, from a like, holy shit. How did it perfectly end to it's, where it's, instead of yeah. getting swollen or lumped, it splits the skin right. perfectly in right. half? Like, right. oh man, it is weird. But uh, and Reigns uh, and the, got Reigns and Orton, up. right? It was Reigns. a good cut. It was Reigns and Orton hit head. Reigns went for a spear, and yeah. Orton, Orton tried to fucking turn it into a power slam. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And right. He fucking mistimed it and clunked it. I think he got a uh, nine stitches, sixteen, nine, nine, 16? and it was some special kind that he. Bigger or, or stronger? Or yeah, a phrase yeah. of stitches, some word. I don't but know. he put up a photo on uh, Twitter, and then like you yeah. said, WWE showed Close it up. last night yeah. on Raw. Yeah, it was, uh, it was. And they showed him getting stitches. Yeah, yeah. Get, Thank yeah. God it wasn't a uh, concussion because he's he, you know that'd have been bad. With he Dana worked Brian down right now. He worked last night, right? Yeah. Dana Brian out, and you know well, that, when Dana Bryan got knocked off the European tour, which is a lucrative tour, they make a lot of money going. Yeah. Overseas oh yeah, oh yeah. They're still hot it's as a brutal shit over there. tour. Talents can't stand going on that tour. And well, they like going on the tour, but at the end of the they tour, they like the money. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the tour, it's like, man, we just want to go home. It's brutal. But, yeah, um, but uh, I mean, the original plans for the tour was Daniel Bryan and Kane. I want to say in the main event, right? Daniel Bryan has the neck injury, can't compete, so yeah, now it's Kane. Rains, and, right. Well, it was going to be Kane and Big Show on half the markets because they run split crews. Right. Kane and Big Show, last man standing, was going to be your main event. Mm, mm. And the other main event was Roman Reigns, Randy Orton. Yeah, so if Reigns got and hurt, Reigns had a fought. concussion from that, yeah. and that was the first show that they headlined, I believe. Right. As right. the B plan for the main event because of Daniel Bryan. Right. So now Plan B goes out. You got to go to Plan C on your split shows. You already got Kane and Big Show on a shit match over here yeah, headlining. Not good. Orton and, and Orton and Reigns gets taken down. What the fuck are you gonna do now over right. here? Right. You know. And the, and like Boone said, the <laughs> European tour is is I mean, as far as ticket sales are concerned, because they only go to what Europe or they only go overseas like to Australia and Europe. Uh, they that, do a that European yeah. tour. It's twice a year. So yeah. when WWE comes, they fans go. are fans are getting their yeah, tickets. They they're travel starting, from all over the area. I think it was sixteen thousand. It was a sellout at the O2 Arena last night. I'm guessing it was another sellout tonight at the SmackDown tapings, just because television taping. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna sell out the O2 Arena for both uh, both events. Big and then, and then not only that, but Hulk Hogan. Uh, they you know they've been hyping tonight, Hulk Hogan at the SmackDown uh, earlier tapings. Today. Right. Yeah. That was another thing last night on Raw. You know they hyped up. We knew that Hulk Hogan because he flew out. He tweeted that he was in London. He was in London on he Monday. Actually, yeah. arrived at the wrong he flew out of the United States and wound up overseas like landed at an airport in starts with an F man Frank Frank I, I don't know where Germany? it was it, we, I think he was in Germany yeah I think he was in Germany man I he was supposed to but I don't know yeah, Frankfurt or something Frank, like that no that's a hot dog that's a hot dog right yeah I don't know whether <laughs> it was a Frankfurt Germany I think I don't know I, wherever it was but he landed in the, the wrong chat, the chat, he landed in the uh, he landed in the in the wrong country and then you know had to fly, wind up flying over to uh, to London but uh there's another thing. We knew that Hogan over the weekend was in London, so he very easily yeah, could have Frankfurt. appeared. Okay. Frankfurt, yeah, okay. That's right. He very easily could have appeared on Raw last night, yeah. but once again, instead, well, they said, you know, the week before it was uh, John Cena is not going to appear on Raw. John Cena, John Cena is going to be over on main event, and then the week before it was somebody's not going to be on Raw. I think it was John Cena again. Wasn't going to be on Raw, but he's going to be on SmackDown. Yeah. And then this week it was yeah, like Hulk Hogan, to not going to be on Raw, he's going to be on SmackDown. No, so. like you said, main event, I thought that was because every week now, since they've uh, stopped doing the Ion television thing for right. main event, so they're doing the network, originally designed to uh, try and get a lot of viewership, and it was the number one most watched show in the top ten this past week. 
Right. So I guess the Cena thing worked. Yes. Yeah, so that was definitely funny. worked, man. But um, so the whole original. If you believe what WWE yeah, says. Yeah, true. Well, I do. I don't see why they lie about that. But um, it bums me because I wish Countdown and WrestleMania Rewind were higher. Those are the only two shows I like on the network. Oh, yeah. Are they good? Real good. Oh, it's that's the only good. original shit they do. Everything else is tapes of old shit or like main event or yeah. pre-shows and post-shows. Yeah. But um. Where was I going with that? Yeah, the main event thing. I thought they were, if, if you're going to save Hulk Hogan and not put him on Raw, mm-hmm. he would be another good one to put on the main event. Yeah. Because like we said, the original Absolutely. thing, which they don't need to do now, was to test high viewing, single night right. surges on the network. Everybody tuning in at the same time for the same thing. Right. Because WrestleMania's coming up and they didn't want to have technical problems at WrestleMania. So they would try and load up main event with a gimmick like Undertaker exactly. one week and they try to do some right. every week. Right. Hogan would have been a good one for this week. Hogan would have been great. But instead, SmackDown, I don't see what yeah. the point of that was. I mean, uh, the way that they did uh, John Cena, and clearly, like you said, it worked. Yes, it worked. Because they said I that... I swear that was the week before. No, it was last week. you got to tune in to... I mean, actually, it was, it was the, the week post... Before, uh, they weren't in Albany last week, right? No, it was no, the week before. It was the week before that. Yeah, that was the day after Extreme Rules they were in Albany. You're right, yeah. you're right. No, last week they uh, were we in had Albany. the uh, We either had the go-home Albany or the pre or the post-show. We had show. the post-show yeah, in so Albany. that was the night after Extreme Rules. Which was... I don't know, Extreme Rules wasn't last weekend. Right, you're, week right. you're right, okay. But anyways, um... Dude, I'm old you're... Old. You... I'm always right. Fuck. Frankfurt, Germany. Times Union Center. I'm always right. Continue your show. If you need help, I'll be right. You were right. But I'm on your left. I was wrong. Show's over, folks. That's the show. Uh, thanks for tuning in this week. WZR Online. <laughs> I've had him a couple times in the last couple of days. We just haven't been sure. On air. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Day. Get to our live chat room. <laughs> WZR Online. Slash chat. WZR Online. Slash chat. Who we got in here this week? John Morgan. Hey, did anyone else notice the UK fans cheering when Rusev's girlfriend had that picture of a Russian flag over the White House last night? I admit You know what was funny? Is you UK fans, listen, we love you to death, right? But it's the same thing with you Canadian fans. Whenever they go to Canada, and whenever they go to the United Kingdom, I don't know where Kingdom, you're going that, but... Okay? And they air graphics or something on screen, and... Uh-huh. You know, if they're in the United Kingdom and they air a graphic of the United States, the whole UK crowd boos like the U, yeah, like the US right. sucks. Yeah. Canadian fans, same thing. They boo if anything the United States airs or a reference to the United States. We don't boo you guys. Sure we do. We don't boo the UK fans. No, you have fans. a heel we out don't there. Boo the Canadian you have fans. A heel out there singing the Russian national anthem. Boo, William Regal, uh, an English snob. Boo, Triple H, an English snob. Even though he wasn't English, uh, yeah, we do the same thing. Iron Sheik, uh, Nikolai. I Bonkoff. love the UK fans. I love the Canadian fans. I never boo you guys. And then I see that last night. I'm like, they got pride in their country, just people. like we got boo. pride in ours. You know, I guess. You showed an anti, an uh, anti, a different country on our show. And a guy bragging about, oh, you know, fucking Thailand. Well, the fuck best. it. United States is about oh, the United Kingdom. Thailand is the best. Let's sing the Thailand national anthem. <laughs> fuck Thailand. <laughs> USA is number one. All right, get to our live chat room, WZROnline.com slash chat. All right, back to Monday Night Raw last night. Got about 10 minutes before we got to go to the commercial break. We'll come back on the flip side. Take your live phone calls and rapid fire in our numero dos. Give out the live phone number here in just a little bit. Uh, they announced uh, there's going to be some beat the clock challenge yes. matches tonight. You know, this, uh, every week there's a tournament or a beat the clock match or what was it last something, week? Something twenty was, man battle royal. That, yeah, that too, that was two weeks ago. But right. the, like even last week there was like a series of matches that was part of a thing. Well, it's kind of a smart tournament. move because it gets people. The the, the 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 hope is to get people tuned in throughout the show that you've got to watch yeah. all these matches to find out who the winner is at the end. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, last of time. You got a three hour right. show. You, you book out four matches as part of a tournament. You got you know an you hour of your show. Every time uh, Justin Roberts, he would say, "This is a beat the clock match for a shot at the United States title at our next pay per view payback." Yeah, but he twice. never gave the date. He would always say, "At our next pay per view payback," and I'm yeah. thinking, "At our next pay per view on June 1st Payback. I think the whole point of that was to emphasize pay back. per view or special event is what they're calling it now. My point being, they're making sure that they say pay per view. 
No, did he say at our next yes. pay per view? He did. Twice. He did. Twice, because okay. I caught that. And it was twice before I muted it, so he probably did it more. But yeah, whenever, right. anytime the Beat the Clock Challenge matches came out, like you said, so he is still saying the title of our next okay. pay per view. All right. All so right. I think it was like, yeah, just keeping that. I don't know. I don't know. Right. You never know. Uh, let's say we had Big E against Ryback. This is the Beat the Clock uh, challenge. match, yeah. challenge match. Uh, what was it five minutes in five minutes and two seconds? I believe is what it was. Yeah, four eighty eight uh, was RVD. Big E uh, picked up the win here, so that was the time to beat uh, for the night. And you know what I liked about Raw last night is they do these Beat the Clock challenge matches, and there were three matches, three of the Beat the Clocks, yeah. right? And normally what happens is. You get that first match, and the time is set. You get that second match, and then the third match, the last match, normally, they beat the clock, right? So you always well, the know, second this match, time, they beat the clock, and then the third, usually they do four. Usually the third one is somebody fails, the fourth one, it's like, oh, is he going to do it? And it comes down to the last, the last couple yeah, of... with three, they had to do it differently. It, it always seems like the final match of the night in the Beat the Clock Challenge match is that final match, you know, they're Not always the winner. Not this week, no. it was the second out of the three matches yeah, where... The match the guy... Up. Dolph Ziggler and Mark Henry. Right. How yeah. over was Ziggler? He was last over like Rover. I wrote, yeah. I wrote a column about that. I don't know if I posted that one yet. I think yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah, it was called Going Against the Grain, eWrestlingNews.com. Today you put it up. Yeah, yeah I yesterday. Saw it today. Yesterday. Oh, right. I put, yeah. It was one of two I put up yesterday. I put okay. two yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I've got one up today. I've already got half another one done already. Not a boy. I'm working hard for you, Frank. But, Get um, done. Yeah, but the. Uh, I think Frankster might be listening tonight. eWrestling News. Really? Great so fucking man right there. But, yeah, um, he is. What was I saying? Now, you uh, your call him Dolph Ziggler. Oh, uh, yeah, Dolph Ziggler. He's one of those guys where they go against the grain. That they like Cesaro. Clearly, they want to cheer Cesaro, but they keep making sure he's a heel. Mm-hmm. John Cena, they want to boo him, but they keep making sure he's a baby face. Right. Now, I understand that one. Right. Money-wise, you know, merchandise, and he appeals to kids, make a wish foundation, all that shit. Right. But Dolph Ziggler's another one where not even heel face. It's just more like we want him to be somebody. Mm. I don't care if you make mm. him a heel. I think fans would love to boo him just to have, like, all right, he's finally doing something. Well, who came out? Bob Holly came out the other day and said Dolph Ziggler should be WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, yeah. I, I, a lot of people agree. I mean, Dolph Ziggler. If you've ever seen some of the promos that he cuts backstage on the WWE app or on the Raw Fallout or yeah. SmackDown Fallout, the guy is amazing on the microphone, dude. He is great on the microphone. He's, good. He's probably one of the best talkers in WWE Oof. right now. We just we don't He's see good. him enough. He's I've great. seen his best shit. He's Ziggler good. He's not great. great. He's good. I think Ziggler is great, he's good. man. Uh, but he's a really good in ring worker. There you can say great. So yeah. if, if if you put Mike skills, which I think are great, yeah. uh, you think are really good, uh, in ring uh, skills, really good, great, yes. great. Uh, man, this guy's a, got it. He's got man. a look that's pretty unique. You know, I think he's outspoken, and he's got a. An appeal with the fans, like, all right, not only is he good, but the people like him. Yeah, he's a good talker, he's yeah. a good worker. People love him; they fucking go nuts for him. Right. I think part of that I even wrote in the column was because because that they've hold they've held him down for so long. The fans are like rallying, like, no, we like this guy. Do yeah. something with him. Uh, and That's what they did with Daniel Bryan. It didn't work with Zack Ryder. It, it did work with Daniel Ryder. Bryan. So you never know which way. And Ziggler's in the middle of it, going the. Bad I think way. is Ziggler. I think he's Ziggler too outspoken. Is outspoken backstage, yeah, where he's he not the wrong afraid. person off or something. He's not afraid to speak his mind, and like Boone said, probably pissed off the wrong guy, the wrong creative team member. Yeah. Maybe went to Vince McMahon. Maybe even yeah, maybe maybe even went to Vince McMahon and said something like, "Yo, right. what is the deal? What am I doing wrong?" And Vince didn't like yeah. the attitude or something. I've always know? heard it was his, his uh, outspokenness or whatever in right. media interviews. Anytime he would do interviews, he would he would say too much. Kind of trash Twitter company too. a little bit. Like, yeah, I don't Twitter know why. Too. What am I doing? You know, what? Not even just that, but like taking shots. Yeah, I'm better than these well, fucking guys and this and you that. You see his tweets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, said that's what I'm social saying. Media, he's the same way, so... I don't think they particularly like that. I think they might be trying to humble him. I don't know, but... Yeah, People yeah. love that guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at it this way. What, what was it? Not what do you guys year? think in the, in the chat room? What 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 is the reason that Dolph Ziggler is not being... Pushed. What? Well, what is he doing wrong? And if you know. think about it, yeah, wzronline.com. Dot com. Slash chat. But uh, if you think about it, a year ago was it the day after WrestleMania? A year ago or two years ago? 
he won the world title on that Raw, and it was like one of the yeah. loudest, most passionate, fuck yeah, remember. we finally get our thing that we've been yeah. dying for yeah. moment when he won the world title. Yeah. Uh, that pop was insane. That pop was crazy. Was That's where he cashed in the uh, yeah. Money in the Bank briefcase, right? And he yeah. can hold it forever, and he wins, and, and then, god damn, look at he gets a concussion. That's what fucked him. Fucked him. Is and the then concussion. he didn't do himself any favors by being outspoken, like we were talking about. Man, so. that's what you worry about with Daniel Bryan, man, where he finally gets the world yeah. title and oh. then you get injured. The luck that guy's mm-hmm. got. Another column I wrote. But, uh, yeah, the luck that that guy's had. Dad dies. He gets Oh, we talked about neck. that in depth that on here last week. What was it? Super, what do they call him? Super Crush? Um, uh, uh, Stone Crusher. Stone Crusher. Stone Crusher. Yeah, that kid, his uh, WrestleMania guest, Make a Wish uh, kid. Like, all these people are dying, his broken neck. And right, right down the chat room. Dolph is good, he knows it. Uh, you know, Reigns, uh, Ambrose Rollins, he is too outspoken, point blank, period, in the chat room. Uh, Teresa Trips got the shovel. Um, pretty much, right? Triple yeah. H got the shovel and, and burying him. Uh, John Kearns says, I think it's because Vince says, you know, personal feelings. Literally person. every comment I read, people are saying, yeah, basically he doesn't know when to shut up, he's too outspoken, blah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're taking your uh, questions and comments out of the live chat room, guys, uh, wzronline.com slash chat. We're going to open up the phone lines here in just a couple minutes. We're going to come back on the flip side in our numero dos, finish up Monday Night mm. Raw and from last night. E Sharp 55 is a good kind. He Oops, says that uh, I got it. It's Ziggler's egos they got to control. Yeah. Too big. And you can yeah. tell the dude knows he's good. He knows he's, he's good. good. I think and, he even says when he's, you know, when he walks in the ring, he's yelling something. He's on a mic. Right. You can kind of, kind of overhear it sometimes. And I think he says something like, I'm, you guys know it. I always hear, you guys know it. I think he's like, I'm the best. You guys know it. Or I'm better than these, these guys. Last you know. night, the pop for him was insane. He's bro. always You over could hear it on television. In Die Hard Market, Chicago, London, Philly. Were you, were you watching at the point Ziggler came out remember. last night? Oh, with Dude. him and Mark Henry? No. no. No, he was doing what you were talking about, man, where he, where he kept going to the ear like this. Like, I know you guys know it, but yeah. they don't. They they don't see it. Or That's what he says. They don't like that every right. time. I think. Yeah. Right. It's like almost like CM Punk's. It's slobber, clobbering time. Right. Slobber right. Time. Right. But Summer right. Return to uh, yes. Monday Night Raw last night. So the idea here, uh, Summer Ray and Fandango, Fandango, yeah. they were paired up. Summer Ray and the Miz were off filming the Marine Force, so they had to get rid of Summer Ray paired yeah. along Fandango or Fandango. So. They paired him up with Layla, yeah, who I did, think... They did a Twitter angle where they had Fandango dump Summer Ray on Twitter. Right. And it you was think Layla's what? A real dancer she is. I think Layla and Fandango, Fandango oh, yeah, are yeah, dating yeah. In, uh, in real life. I've heard of that too, yeah. I do believe so. But anyways, um, so they paired those two up. Summer Ray's been off TV, out filming the Marine yeah. 4. The Miz is going to be back as well fairly soon now that uh, filming for so Marine 4... That disappeared. I know. So about two years ago, WrestleMania. I'm saying two years ago, WrestleMania. Dolph Ziggler wouldn't tell her. Oh, how about two years ago, WrestleMania? Or was it three now? Three, I think. Fucking yeah. Miz was the main event of this WrestleMania, main and event he won. WrestleMania, and he retained his title. He went uh. into he went into WrestleMania as, as the champion. Uh. Something I think, other than Triple H, I can't think of another heel that has gone into WrestleMania as champion and come out as champion. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know if Triple H has gone in and come out. Uh, he's one of very few heels that's gone crazy? in as champion though. But uh, so or, uh, left as champion. I'm sorry. Filming for uh, Marine Four wrapped up last week, so Summer Rae wound up coming back last night. Got in a cat fight with uh, Layla. No, I gotta give it to Summer Rae when she went to spear or tackle yeah. Layla. Oh, that good. looked good. She's good. That looked good. She's good. And, and I remember hearing a story that really impressed me about her once. Was that uh, when she was she's a slut backstage? Well, that too. But that doesn't impress me. But uh, <laughs> it makes perfect sense actually. But no, when she was in NXT or something. I forget where, maybe OVW, somewhere she was one of the developmentals and she was like asking for tapes on like Missy Hyatt and shit like really? that. Like she was doing like read, she was studying and Good for her. I'm like, yo, that, that means she must be pretty serious. Good you for know? her. Yeah. You know? And I, but I had heard she had cut her hair real short. Uh, and it did, I had noticed that last night. No, we had the photos up on the website, but either she, she was wearing extensions, extensions yeah. or something last night on, uh, on Raw. Was. All right, one more segment before we go to the commercial break and it is the Stephanie McMahon uh, calls out Oh. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon. Sick, man. I know, it's still going two weeks later, too, man. Stephanie McMahon uh, calls out Dana Bryan. We talked about this earlier. I mean, she basically came out and said that I'm not going to strip him of the title, but I want him to show yeah. up on Raw in Knoxville, Tennessee next Monday and relinquish the title. So, 
What happens next week? I mean, you you said earlier. Before you, we get to what happens next week, I thought it was interesting during this when she when she talks about it. She said, "I'm afraid I've got some bad news," and then they introduce like a collage, a montage of bad news. Barrett saying, "I'm afraid I've got some bad right. news." Right. You know, and then he doesn't come out or nothing. They just come back to her, and she's like, "Yeah, he says it better than me." Uh, the bad news is, blah 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 blah. He came out later in the night. Yeah, but like, why right. right there? That was just weird. It was weird, and the crowd wanted Barrett yeah. so bad. You could tell all night long. There were uh, there was a chant oh, early I wish in the downloaded show. Downloaded that fucking theme. They played British Bulldogs theme when he cut the promo. Remember? Last night? Was that the theme? All right, dude. All right. Okay. Yeah, because the crowd, the crowd popped huge when she said somebody else could say it better than yes. I can. And then they aired the, uh, the yes. video. So, and that dude is over. Not just in England, where he obviously he's over. Right. But right. He, and I, that, that was part of one of my columns, too. He's I, over with that. Not only is he over, yeah, but like... When he was Wade Barrett, leader of the Nexus, and even after that, right? Everybody's like, "Yo, that guy's gonna be a big deal one day." Right? And everybody was saying it. Everybody could yeah. see it. It was like just agreed upon by everybody, yeah. executives and fans. And then he goes away, he comes back, blah 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 blah. Where is this Barrett guy? Why isn't he becoming a star? We thought they slapped right. a lame fucking gimmick on him. I know. And that's when he gets mega over because now people are fucking loving that dude. I'm afraid I've he got some bad news. He took a shit gimmick and got himself over like Rover. It's the same thing. It, 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 it's like if something clicks. Well, imagine the when pants. they really go with them. Daniel Bryan, the whole yes, 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 yes thing, yeah. right? That took off, right? Steve Austin, what? What? That took off. That's still, Steve Austin over. was a megastar. That's, That's still, still over. over. But there were certain they were doing things. They were doing the same culture last night. Right, right, right. But there were certain things. We the people is another one. There are certain things that it will work with the crowd. We the people. Everybody chants yeah. along. The Finally, watch the rock has come back. It's there are certain the things that if they click, that'll get you over. In the case of Wade Barrett, I'm afraid I've got some bad yeah. news. You know what I mean? So... Anyways, we uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We're gonna be taking your live phone calls oh, shit, after the break. Oops. Yeah, we're uh, over time, so we'll be uh, taking your live phone calls. We'll be taking your live questions and comments from the chat room as well in our numero dos. Also, rapid fire. We're gonna put rapid fire up during the commercial break. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Your rapid fire questions, your live phone calls, finishing up Monday Night Raw. We're coming back in our numero dos four. Matt Boone, uh, this is Ryan Clark, and Sam, we'll see you in a couple of minutes. WZR TV Tuesdays. Be a diva during the commercial break. We were ready for about the last. Oh, fucking diva. Oh, about the last 90 seconds. We've been ready to come back. Hold on, look at that cigarette. Hold on, let me pour my beer. Here we are. <laughs> I'm going to slap that pimple right off your forehead. Anyways, we're back. Yes. Our numero dos. We are, uh... Sorry about that. Live chat room WZR online dot com slash chat WZR online dot com slash chat John Morgan this is not what I expected when I logged into the WZR chat room this week R. Kelly's in the chat room tonight Teresa's in there A. Martinez huh. Ryan Clark's biggest fan uh, R. Kelly Haven't says I got a while. midget in his closet you remember that uh that song he had uh, the Trapped in the Closet or something. It's like a fucking 40 minute song. Did I tell you I got in big trouble for using the word midget by the still, fans uh, of the really? website? They yes, don't. we talked about it last week. We did talk about it last yeah, week. Yeah, said it's like yeah. saying the N word if you're a black person. Yeah. Apparently, to say they didn't the they M word to like a little person. Is supposed to call anyway, them. they don't like the uh, the word midget. No, a little anyway. person is what you're supposed to call them. Little person. And you can call them a dwarf, which to me but sounds yeah. worse. Yeah, but yet WWE. Did a dwarf sound worse than a midget? Yes, absolutely. WWE was talking about midgets in the ring and midget commenters, uh, commentators, yeah. and announcers. Well, we talked about midget, midget, midget wrestling is like an okay thing right. for some reason. It's okay in wrestling. You don't say midget though in real life. It's like Larry David did that Curb Your Enthusiasm about what? people uh, people what? that are handicapped, and he, he said uh, it was about a battle for a handicapped stall in a bathroom. Long story short, I won't tell that story. God now. bless Larry David, he's but a, okay. He's a genius. He's yeah, amazing. and if I told the whole storyline, it's even better, but that, that would take longer. But uh, basically, they get in an argument, and, he, and he's telling them, you what, know. What show is this? Curb Your Enthusiasm. Okay. And okay. he says, you know, you all, you all, you're handicapped, blah, he just says handicapped. And the guy says, whoa, whoa, whoa handicapped. 
Don't you know, man? Don't you know that? That's that's offensive. Don't you? You don't say that. We're supposed to be called it. Uh, what's what's the opposite of able-bodied? Um, I don't know. Fuck. Able-bodied was Larry David's comeback in a couple episodes later, but uh. I can only imagine Larry David sitting there and just going back and forth with whoever said that. Handicap's a bad word, or this, that, and the other. Somebody in the chat room, please help me. That is bugging the shit out of me. The opposite of able-bodied is, uh... The opposite of able-bodied. Yeah, able-bodied. Can, can we do a Google search? Let me do a Google search uh, for don't you. get it, don't get it. Able-bodied, uh... No, you don't call us handicapped. You call us... Opposite... Not physically challenged, Able-bodied? Uh, yeah, able-bodied. Oh, able -bodied. well, it'll probably come up here. Able-bodied. Able bodied, okay. Yeah. Oh, disabled. Disa okay, yeah, disabled. Okay, disabled. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I can't So, think disabled of that. instead of handicapped? You're Nobody in the chat say, room got it. You're he supposed said, yeah. to say disabled said, instead yeah, of handicapped? We're not supposed to call us handicapped. We're, we're, we like to be called disabled. And Larry David's response was he, he looks like this. He goes like this. Say it to me. Say, we're supposed to be called disabled. We're supposed to be called handicapped. No. Or disabled. We're supposed to be called disabled. Disabled. <laughs> that sounds so hot. That's what he said. <laughs> I left my ass. Larry's this awesome. This guy's bro. not giving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take him. All right. Larry David is awesome, he's dude. Man, he's he's uh, Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's crack a lacking? What's going on, guys? How you doing, man? I just yelled, buddy from Chicago, man. Oh, you got to speak oh, up, bro. I can barely right. hear you. Kill us. I said, this is your buddy from Chicago, man. Chicago, Shy town What's up, man? Well, I mean, uh, before I get into my uh, comment here, um, I have no internet or no cable, so I haven't been able to track the WWE. I have keep track of what's going on. And I was hoping if you can tell me if there's something big going on. Am I missing anything? And please don't hang up before you give me your comment. Don't hang up until we give him our comments. But uh, I didn't hear a word he, he said. doesn't have he hasn't had internet or cable. He's okay. from uh Chi Town, Chirac. Windy City. Chirac. All right. Um a lot of murders in Chicago. Okay. But uh and no, the the, uh, the big stuff going on, man. I mean, it was your your average Monday night raw last night. They taped it from the uh, from the United Kingdom. Uh the big deal is Daniel Bryan suffered a uh, a neck injury and uh is going to be out for at least a couple of weeks if not a uh, a month or, or two uh he's supposed to return on raw uh next week um stephanie mcmahon is is announced last night she's uh not going to strip him of the wwe title she wants him to come to raw next week and uh relinquish the wwe title so there's an angle dana bryan's supposed to come to raw next week and uh basically give up the wwe title due to having neck surgery this past thursday but other than that it's been uh, a fairly quiet week on uh, as far as pro wrestling and is concerned. A Martinez in the chat. We're supposed to incorporate the chat. Moore says he he says, "Boom! Did you puff on a joint today?" <laughs> <laughs> the answer? Yes. <laughs> it's been a thanks, long uh, time since I've smoked, but thanks I did for smoke. the uh, call, dude. That's about it, though, in the uh, in the pro wrestling world. I did smoke some weed today. You uh, know, I, admit, yeah. I gotta tell you, you know. He he said the boom puff on a joint. my brain a little. Bit. I had said to, I had yeah. said to uh, to Boone during the commercial break. I said, "Hey man, you all right?" I said, "You're a little bit quiet. Yeah, you're kind of you kind of down and, and, and dull tonight." So, well, yeah. I got a buddy that has marijuana. Now, me personally, I don't smoke. It makes me tired. I smoke cigarettes. I drink beer. You didn't take a hit before you went but to bed the other wait night. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm getting there. All right. But uh, so it makes me tired and and I it makes me weak and I don't feel like working. Well, yeah, I get the opposite. I so, get into the zone and I can work my ass off. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I've done so many columns. So I went out to my buddy and I said, "Hey, man, my roommate likes to smoke pot. A lot of people like to smoke pot these days." Hey. And uh, he had some marijuana, he had some pot on him, and uh, I brought you home a couple of ten dime bags, yeah. you know, little ten sacks, and I said, here you go, Boone, and Boone's been smoking and it's it up. very good chronic, by the way. Very, very good chronic. Yeah, it's not just trash weed. It's, it's got like red hairs, and looks it's looks pretty fucking crystal, good. It's got the crystal, the, what do they call it, Kush? I don't know. Oh, it's crystal. Uh, it looks crystally and it looks. Oh, what was it? We used to have a grinder. Well, where, we where is it? Can we? We, 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 we should. We should we do that? Yeah, probably not. No, um, let's not do that. Yeah, we could be joking if let's we were confronted. No, we don't. Smoke no, no, sir. We were. It was a bit for the air. But anyways, but uh, so we got uh, what do they so call it? The uh, the the crystals on it. 
the haze and the hash. No, 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 no. We used to be able to grind it, and we would separate just the crystals and put it on top when we would take a hit, and it would melt real... Um, not the keef. The keef. The keef. Keef. Yeah, the keef. I think it's the keef. <coughs> Alright, well, it's got a lot of crystals and yeah. red hairs and other things, so... It's good chronic. No seeds. I brought no Boone stone. on some pot, and you, you're in here smoking away. Yeah. Well, the other night... <laughs> they say angel dust in the chat. No, the, no, not angel the, dust. The other night, I, I, Boone says, I said, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, might, uh, I, might, I might take a hit of that, man. I might, you yeah. know... Boone says, dude, I'm telling you, you'll get in there. And granted, I had been drinking some beers, right? I was drinking yeah. beer. So Boone says, I. and it was during uh, boxing and UFC was on this past weekend, right? Yeah. So he says, dude, dude, you'll get in a group. Well, it was bro. Strike Force. Sh- strike Rampo- Force? Rampage and strike King. Force. Oh, Bellator, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bellator. Rampage and King Mo and, uh, and Tito Ortiz. So he, sa- he we says, we talked uh, about that too. Yeah, yeah. So he says, you'll get in a groove, bro. You'll be able to work this, that, and the other thing. I take a hit of the pot. I fucking walk back and I get on the computer and the room starts fucking spitting on me. I said, what the fuck? I had to go over to my bed and lay down. You came in here. You said, yo, you ready to watch Bellator, man? You ready to watch these fights? Yeah. I said, bro, I need to lay down for a second. You mentioned the part I said you'd be in the groove and you'd be working hard and all that. You mentioned that, right? (laughs) Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the funny part because I'm like telling the dude, no, he was worried that he was not going to be productive when he smoked. I said, no, it's the opposite, man. You take a hit, and you're, like, super ultra-focused and, like, in the zone. That's what I call it. And I work my nuts off because I just get going. And once I get in that zone, I'm gone. Did you put the rapid fire on my account? Bro? Yes. Okay. Uh, but Ryan didn't have the same reaction. Right, he man. took a hit, and I guess he told me he laid down and the room was spinning. That's what you said, right? Yes. Yeah. It was <laughs> spinning like I wasn't crazy. Your story, so. It was spinning, and, and I had to lay down for, for 10, or, uh, 10 or 15 minutes. R. Kelly knows his stuff. He was the only guy in the chair who knew I was trying to say Keith. Uh, that was the word I was Keith, I think you put the rapid fire. It's not on my page. Sure Did it you is. put it on your page? I just put it on refreshed. Your, oh, I might have put it on your page. personal one then. Oh, I just right. loaded your browser and right, right, Facebook, right, whatever right. came up. All right. Well, we'll get the uh, we got to do the uh, the rapid fire and uh, and and we'll put that up. I'll uh, face it's going to be facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Talking? Yeah, I'm going to uh, put it up right now. Uh, get back into a Monday Night Raw yeah. from last night. We'll finish this up real quick. We left off with uh, another beat the clock. This wound up being the, uh, yeah. the winner. Yeah, we, we, we before the beat the clock. We had uh, we had shot backstage. Let me I can't hear callers. I gotta wait for Ryan. Call back, buddy. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, I don't have good hearing. Uh, but the beat the clock challenge match was Rob Van Dam versus Alberto Del Rio. And uh, like we had said earlier, the, the beat the clock time was uh, set, if you will, uh, originally by Big E and then broken by uh, RVD in this match. He ended up uh, breaking Big E's time of 502 and he scored a 488, uh, 4 minute 88 seconds. That doesn't make sense. 488. 415, I'm sorry, yeah. Very close to 420. We were just talking about weed, RVD 420. But, uh, so yeah, RVD got the win there. He's now on the, the lead of the Beacon Clock Challenge, leaving only Dolph Ziggler and Mark Henry later in the night. And the big question there was, would Ziggler or Henry be able to beat uh, RVD's time of 415? Uh, and long story short, they didn't. Uh, but next here, uh, they started promoting the NXT TakeOver special, which uh, I'm not even sure if Ryan remembers, but it's on May 29th, live on the WWE Network. Uh, that'll be headlined by the NXT Championship match between Adrian Neville and Tyson Kidd. Uh, now, if you don't watch NXT, you might be thinking, Jesus Christ, Tyson Kidd's in the main event. What kind of shit promotion is this? But if you watch the promotion, it makes sense. It fits. And that, it's actually a really, it's going to be a really good match. I think uh, I think if you've been following it, you'll enjoy it. But uh, no, I was just telling them, we had forgotten uh, NXT TakeOver is coming up in a couple weeks. And they were promoting that last no, night. Oh, it's coming up. Uh, a couple see, weeks. May 29th. May 29th. May 29th. Okay. Uh, and uh, I was mentioning how like it might seem on the surface like a main event of Adrian Neville, which is like a who, mm-hmm. versus Tyson Kidd, like well, the jobber from WWE. It might seem, if you're not an NXT fan, it's like a shit awesome match. match on paper. It's a really good match. Really good yeah. match on paper, man. I guess uh, Adrian Neville's supposed to be something else, man. I mean, Sami Zayn or Sami Zayn. How do you say it? Zane? They've uh, worked Those the dark match outs. today. Uh, Adrian Neville defeated uh, Sami Zayn before the SmackDown taping. Well, and they've uh, been out on the uh, the European loop European with tour, them, right? They, right. They, they had so many injuries and stuff. Right. Right, right, right. So, and then the two of them worked a dark match on the overseas tour, like I said uh, earlier earlier today at the uh, WWE SmackDown tapings. We had uh, Seth Rollins against Batista. By the Rollins, way, but yeah. 
There was a promo last night. Uh, well, they announced Cesaro Mark. versus Mark Henry for main event, too. Okay. We skipped that. There was, actually, it wasn't a promo. The Shield was on the announced team. Okay. Um, well, event. Dean Ambrose Dean Ambrose and uh, Roman Reigns yeah, were, were on commentary for the Seth Rollins versus oh, David Batista match. Oh, yes, Pista you know, match. Luke Harp was the name. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. right, you're right, you're right. So, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, granted, Roman Reigns kind of chimed in here and there. I did see this. What am I saying? I remember seeing this. You didn't have it muted at this no, point? No, I watched this. How yeah, good... Ambrose was doing commentary the whole time. How good was Dean Ambrose Great. on commentary Great. last night? Yeah, I mean, he there was, was a few times awesome. where there was rough spots, but, like, yeah. considering that he said so much and talked for so right. long... Thought he'd come off great. Yeah. Dean Roman Ambrose. Reigns barely said anything. Roman Reigns kind of ch- chimed in like, oh, look at that. Or whoa, Ambrose whoa. set him up like a volley. Like, right. Easy to spike down. Exactly. You know, like an easy, exactly. like, obviously you say this right now kind of right. thing. And, the, you know, and he would wait for his Rain, response. Or, uh, deliver it. Well, Reigns, like we said, I think we made on a big rant last week. Yeah. The motherfucker's coming through with his promo. He's promos. He's developing. He's, he's getting better. Absolutely. Uh, they're giving him more because I think they Absolutely. see that he's getting better. And, and yeah. he, every time they give him a chance, he delivers. And I think uh, the plan, uh, as of last word, they were going to do Roman Reigns against Triple H at SummerSlam. Now, if they go that route, that's the thing with Roman Reigns. It's right now, it's kind of a slow build. But I think if you put him... In a high profile one on one matches, not just because when you have three on threes, there's not that one guy that gets to shine. There is, well, but if you do a one on one, even more so because the other guys it, get beat down. Even and more so, get, and he it, comes back and makes the big comeback. Big he makes the big comeback. But if you're building a one on one match where Triple H is cutting a promo one week, Roman Reigns is cutting a promo the other week, and they are just going head to head. There's more... Well, dude, it's that's this simple. One sentence. He becomes the guy instead of right. one of the guys with the shield. Exactly. He becomes the guy on the main... The top guy, not his group is the top group. Right. He himself is the man. And they're going to put him in that high-profile feud that he really hasn't had up until this point oh, yeah. with, with a, a main Never guy had. like Triple H no. or a main guy like John Cena or Triple yeah. H or somebody like that where it's a one-on-one type he's deal. Had, or Brock this Lesnar is going or even to be would be a good one. Yeah, fucker. somebody but, like uh, that. Right. Uh, he's, he's, he's had singles matches, but he's never had a singles run like you're saying. And I think that right. originally when the Shield first started off, like we had mentioned before, everybody kind of looked at Dean Ambrose as the leader. Mm-hmm. Seth, Seth Rollins was the workhorse. They were both the better promo guys. Roman Reigns was least of the three in the ring, mm-hmm. least of the three on the mic, but had that look and would always stand out in their segments and right. in their matches. And then there, so there was a period of time where the fans were like, who is that guy? Mm-hmm. Then there was the period of time, which we're in right now, where WWE is like featuring him as the guy. Like he gets all the cool spots he in the is matches. Going, he's he gets up, the up, final punchline right. or the final blow in the in the in the promo. Mm-hmm. They're like doing things specifically designed to make this guy specifically slowly designed to build ascend him up. through the ranks. Absolutely. And people look at him like, yo, that's gonna be the man. And then and when they finally pull the trigger, promo last when they finally pull the trigger with him and Triple H at SummerSlam, when they right. finally do something like that, if it's Triple H, if it's SummerSlam, the people will be that's, so ready for it by that point. That's where he's going to make a name. That it'll, he'll, right. Toosh, he exactly. should escalate right to Absolutely. the top. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then that promo that we talked about last week on Raw, that was the first time where they've given him more than one or two sentences to say something. Yeah. And last week when he cut that promo, we're like, whoa, this, you know, now now we can really see the potential. It's and easy if you give a guy one line and right. he's got all day to think about it, you know what I mean? And like, well, you can deliver one line. They, last week, like right. you were mentioning, they gave him a couple series of, of lines, a couple right. of sentences. Right. And it was seamless. It was like when hey, they he, do you the, were hooked on every word that he was saying. He when they do the attention. feud with Triple H, yeah. that's, he's going to get a lot more mic time. So um, at time. that point, and so, so and Triple H, I think likes him. I think the Shield was one of his pet projects. At one they point. weren't. I and know the, 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 the Wyatt's were. The Wyatt's yeah. were. I believe Shield was too. Right. Because NXT was his in general, and he was their guys in NXT. But um, it's one of those where Triple H is a guy, and he's done it a million times in the past. Where if if you're in a t- situation like we're talking about, where Reigns is finally getting his big chance, maybe not a guy from a faction or a stable breaking off and getting his big main event singles push. But a new guy, like a Scott Steiner or, or, a, or a guy coming up the ranks, like an RVD or a Chris Jericho, mm-hmm. there's times where Chris or Triple H has worked with those guys, and like you said, when it's, when it's exactly when Reigns gets his equal mic time and it's not 
part of an ensemble right. and he's on his own sink or swim like I said mm-hmm. Triple H has been known in times to just, fuck him up and marry him right, yeah right, like right. subtly too but uh and then there's guys like CM Punk. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. We don't there's know that that's like not going to happen. There's guys like CM Punk that are good enough that even if he tries, right. CM Punk can fucking can come switch. right back. Flip come right back. Yeah, and then what do you guys think of Roman Reigns in the uh, chat room real quick? Uh, see, now, I should point out when you cut me out. WZ, I have been let. I've been sitting <laughs> here going, uh-huh. Uh huh. That's and how I get you on the Raven. You just jump right no. in. I'll be in the middle of something. You'll be like, oh, you know, the same way you did. Like, three I just times, stop. I just stop talking. The same way you did you three times in that story. You would throw in a comment here and there. I do that with you all the time. Little interruptions, but the big ones are when I'm sitting here, consciously saying, "All right, don't interrupt them. Don't interrupt them." And then when you get, because you can tell when you get to the end of a sentence, some guys will usually, like, especially if you're on the air, you'll change your tone, and you can tell when a guy's about done. I can never tell when you're done because you'll fade down and then you'll turn a corner and go right back up and I'll be like, oh shit, I better just cut them off. If we were to ask the chat room tonight, who gets cut off more well, on a weekly out more. basis? Who gets cut off more on a weekly basis? I don't think there's any question. I don't think there is either. That's just, I'm not making that's that claim. Just to me. I don't. But you I just do, do it a lot. All right. I just don't bring all it up right. all the time, so maybe people don't realize. I don't know. All right. Whatever. When I watched the archive, I was watching the archive the last couple of weeks, and yeah. I'm like, "Wow!" I get cut off. No, every, I mean, right now, right now, every sentence that I try to say, I get cut off. You see, and I, I stop. I'm gonna start pointing out when you do it because it's very easy to highlight. When I, I wasn't really cutting you off right there, I was interjecting a comment in the middle. Of it. But you interject a comment, but it's it leads to something else. So it's it's that like didn't. that didn't that didn't right there. Yeah, but normally, it out. normally. It, you'll, you'll interject and then take off. And I just stop talking. Yeah, no. And I let it go. I'll admit it. There's plenty of times where not only do I interject, but I'll take over and yes. take it somewhere else. Yes, all the time. But uh, usually that's a judgment call in my head where I think I'm better than you. And I'm like, let's let's make the show better. Let's shut them up now and go somewhere else. That That's <laughs> honestly what it is. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. I forget what I was going to say again now. Cause you come Good. Up, but, uh, Good. So, all right. Yeah. How about... Uh, no, no, no. I made the mistake <laughs> one week. See, before you guys start, stuck. see that kind of stuff. Not I know that did, that doesn't yeah. count. Like, Come let me on. get this in real quick before you switch. All right, but uh, no, the, the, I made the mistake the one week of I listened to the show or I watched the show. Where's the Jeopardy thing? And I pulled him aside and I told him, I said, "Dude, you need to fucking tell me to shut up <laughs> right in my face on the air if I ever do that." I made myself sick. Yeah. I was particularly drunk that. You week. had to shut off the stream. I couldn't finish it. Yeah. I watched maybe 20, 30 minutes, and I was like, dude, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to beat my own ass. Right. I want to go through the screen, and I want to grab that <laughs> Mac guy, that, that guy on the... If you're looking at us, what would I be on the left or the right? I don't know. The right of us. You're going to be over here, right? Yeah, I'll probably be the left. Uh, whatever. Be you're going to grab him by the fucking throat. I want to beat that guy without the hat on and beat the <laughs> fucking shit out of him. Tell him, let Ryan finish. You know, I And I made the mistake of telling him that, so now he, he's running with it. But whatever. Fuck out of here. <laughs> How about uh, Alicia Fox on uh, on Raw? I, I like that they're giving Alicia Fox. I, I've always said Alicia Fox is one of the best divas on the roster. I, re- I believe that. You Your turn. turn. Yes. My turn. Hold on. It's like we're in school. I'm, I'm Matt? Call on Matt. Green light. Call on Matt. Matt? Matt? Yeah, no, when you raise your hand in school. What do you think Alicia Fox Matt, there, Matt yeah, Boone? You the question. Oh, uh, let me? it go. Let it go. Mr. Clark. What do you sure? think about Alicia Fox? I think, Fox? Uh, like you said, at least they're giving her something. So now she's got an actual character as opposed to just being a... Oh, character. is that right? Yeah. She's got... No. I wasn't done. You interrupted me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, they're giving her something. So they are giving her something. she's got something to play with. Let's see what... Go- I mean, it's not... There's a ceiling on a, a thing like that. Like, you right. go nuts after every match. At what point does that become old? And then what else you got for me? Yeah. So, but it's at least for the time being, it's something for her to do, and it creates a challenger for Paige, which they need. She did the rib thing again last night with the announcers on Raw. Yeah, the crowns and the, the, the crown. Cowboy head. Right, exactly. So we had that uh, against Paige, but they gave, uh, like you talked about earlier, Alicia Fox. No, uh, uh, yeah, well, the, win. the whole story of Paige's main roster run thus far has been she gets fucking trashed the whole match mm-hmm. and then wins in the end. Comes back and wins, right? This week, you figure, right, she's losing, she'll get in some off. She got trashed the whole match, mm-hmm. and then got pinned in the end, and didn't mm-hmm. win, you know. Right. Not entitled, but still, it's like in her hometown, you think it's a coincidence? No. Mm, it's not. It's no. not. 
How about uh, Adam Rose? Let's talk about Adam Rose for a second, and then we're going to get I'm into muted. the uh, the main event. You muted it here? Right during this it commercial. It was probably a good idea, man. Was it? It was a good idea. That was to the one thing it. I kind of wanted to see, because I had heard, we had reported before the show that they had a special segment planned. You, right, right. Rose, but this wasn't really special, so I don't know what they were talking about. But. Adam Rose comes out, okay? And granted, there's something about the gimmick where there was maybe... I expected more. Hit it, baby. Hit yeah. it. Maybe I expected more when Adam Rose came out. And he's a party goer. Comes out. That's Why does that happen? And it did it last week, too. Let's right? do it again right now. Alright. Oh, fuck it. No, I did this before. I gotta say more. Keep talking. Adam Rose comes out, right? And he's got the partiers and he's got the rosebuds and everything else, but there's something not clicking. I don't I, I don't know what it is. And and you know, even the crowd last night, I know that people that were in the O2 arena last night said that it was great, the crowd was off the fucking hook. There it is. Yeah. Crowd was off the hook. They were into it. Yeah. That, and the other thing I heard the same thing. Zeb Golter winds up coming out here, right? And Zeb wants to fight with Adam Rose. And Adam Adam basically says, Don't be a lemon, don't be sour be a rosebud. We're all here to have fun. We're all here to, yeah, to party. We would chant like, you're a lemon. Right, right, right. I think it was right. after the second year. I love how he does so, that thing where he gets up in the apron and he stays back. Up. That is cool. That's a, that's a cool stuff. It's a risky spot to do before the match every time. And you know? there's a lot of divas in there too, man. There's yeah. a lot of girls oh, in sure there. Oh, sure. I said like before, like, you guys right. stay in the middle. Right. And you're ready. But, uh, so Swagger comes in and attacks uh, Adam Rose. Rose makes a comeback and everybody parties, and that was the whole segment, right? It was yeah. basically Zeb Coulter, he's sick and tired, right, he's sick and tired of Adam Rose coming out of here in this whole party and gimmick, this, that, and the other thing, and he wants to fight tonight, Swagger attacks him. Yeah, it was funny too to hear uh, Coulter attempt to uh, alter his promo stop. Oh, whoa, 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 no, uh, it's funny to see uh, Coulter. It was funny to see him trying to adapt his promo stuff. Normally, it's so hot. My country, this he's not in his country. This yeah, I was. He's like, yo, in my country, and I don't even know how you do it in this country. And that's pretty much how he altered it. Right. Anytime he would do one of these in my country, I don't know how he got past our immigration. Right. Or England, he would have. Right, he's not right. an American. Yeah. But the whole segment, I mean, there's something missing with uh, with Adam Rose, dude. Something, something, I, I don't know, man. I think it's going to turn out to be another fun. Oh, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 yes. whoa, 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 I think that was fun. Uh, it's it's going to no. turn out to be another Fandango or fun. I'm worried. Now, I, I made this big proclamation when, before he did, I think it was the week before he debuted after a couple weeks of the vignettes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what, I think that son of a bitch is going to get over, like, with a cult following. He's going to mm -hmm. have this diehard cult, but they're going to be a loud min uh, minority. Mm -hmm. A loud portion of the crowd, not a big portion, but a loud and enthusiastic, passionate portion. Right. That you know, usually when you start a chant, it spreads. If especially if it's something cool, right. Or if it's a song, like when they sing the whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like we talked about earlier. You know, what chants or yeah. you know, if there's something that the fans can, you know. Yeah, I should point that out. He interrupted me and took it somewhere else. I'm talking about the same thing. About. You stop talking for a minute. You know, I could, oh, man. I all right, go on. But anyway, see, no. When I pointed out, all of a sudden, look at it. Ah. I'm supposed to let that become my new gimmick. Get to your point. I forget it. That was my point. You made me Good. forget it. But uh, no, no, no. Um, to where uh, I thought he was going to be over with his cult following, but now the more I see him, I'm starting to agree with what you're saying now, which is that he might become the next Fandango Santino like, I think. jerk off gimmick. I, originally, I didn't think that. And the more I see him, I'm like, e this might be cool for a couple weeks. And then. I don't think Michael Cole does him any favors by trying to act like it's the coolest thing in the world. He's yeah. such a nerd and such a dork. He, Come on, JBL, let's party! You know, he starts doing that, and it's like, all right, he's a geek. All right. You know, not Michael Cole. Like, all right, if Michael Cole thinks he's cool, then he's probably a fucking nerd. Right. You know, if you're a kid, you're an impressionable kid, and you're like, yo, that nerdy guy likes that guy? Oh, then he's a dork. Stupid. Yeah. All right, get to our uh, our live chat room, WZROnline.com. Good. Sorry to interrupt chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there. As always, tonight. What are they saying in there? We haven't been, uh... What are they saying? Say anything cool? I always post comments to Ryan. He hates me, says R. R. Kelly. I post so much stuff on Facebook 
that I can't, like, a lot of times I try to go into the threads and I try to respond and I try to interact with people, I like but sometimes those 20, 25 yeah. posts a day that, uh, that, you know, I can't respond to all of them. I like Ryan Clark's biggest fan. He says, Adam Rose equals Russell Brand. Do you know who Russell Brand is? I do know who Russell Brand is. He is kind of similar, yeah. Uh, with the look, yeah. The look, absolutely. Yeah. And the kind of the style. He's very eccentric. Partier. And, yeah. Yeah. He's not Australian, Russell Brand. He was banging Katy Perry for a while. They were married? <laughs> they were married, you're right. right. Yeah. We're going Stern right. and Stern would grill the shit out of him about it. You know, Justin Bieber's becoming a, uh, a rapper these days, yeah. right? We talked about a one-week tour. He wanted to do one of those BET ciphers on the cipher board where they yeah. all freestyle. Who's the DJ? Turn them DJ down. Premier turned them That's down because what, what he wanted was, right. uh, he said, well, I don't have a right. Can somebody write something for me and then I'll just rap it? Yeah. And Premier was like, no, no, this is freestyle. Sure. Everybody's bringing their own shit. No, I'm not writing for you. I don't care if you're a big just, you're a big name, just to be rude, bring a lot of attention. Right. I'm keeping this shit legitimate. Get your right. fucking young bitch ass out of here. Slaughterhouse, right. baby. Yeah. Slaughterhouse killed it on the uh, on the cypher, They man. always do. Yeah. yeah, they're crazy. All right, here we go. We got to get uh, Ryan Clark, take your pre-show dump earlier so the show start. Well, we, we were Teresa on time. needs to set Boone up with a friend of hers so Teresa and Ryan can double date with her friend and Boone. That's from John Moore. We're in New York. Yeah. She in New York? I'll send her over. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. Do you know UK Adam Rose is the South African? He's South African. Is okay. he South African? I thought he was Australian. Okay. Justin Gabriel's uh, South African. I know Af- Justin Gabriel's uh, South African. All right. All right. I didn't know that. I thought, I thought, that he, was, I thought he was Australian. With the yeah. accent. See, Justin Gabriel or yeah. uh, Chris Brown in the channel. I think he's right. No, I think Dino's right. right. And I trust Dino. He knows his stuff. What do you guys prefer? Adam Rose or Leo Kruger? I don't know much about uh, Leo, Who is Leo Kruger. Uh, NXT guy. One I'm of the sure. guys from uh, NXT. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Bo Dallas? He's de- he debuted today, I guess. I At the SmackDown it. tape, um, right. Uh, without giving anything away. Did you read it? Because I didn't read it. Spoilers. Yeah. Dude, what do you think his, uh, you think he's going to get over? I mean, you haven't even seen him yet, but based on the vignettes and the character. When we, we've, we've seen Bo Dallas on television before, yeah, but right? Yeah, this is a revamp. It's uh, a revamp a gimmick, now. right, right, with the whole bull leave thing. But we saw him, you know, he, was, he was at the Royal Rumble, and then they tried to have him appear on a couple of Raws after yeah. that. But like you said, there wasn't a gimmick involved. He was almost filler talent then. Now he's actually, yeah, exactly. they're trying to make him a somebody. I think he's going to get over to the level of, like, a Damian Sandow. I think that, that gimmick uh, caps, he puts, like I've said it a couple times, like, yeah. the ceiling on how high you can go with it. Right. Bull leave, because you know he's going to have the fucking inspirational speeches all the time, and... And the crowd, the crowd speaking. is just gonna go silent. They're gonna shit on it, so right. they'll get heat. But is it a good? Is it a heat that translates to? Oh, I want to see him get his right. ass kicked. Right. I want to turn TV on on Monday to watch him, or I want to buy a ticket to go see him get his ass kicked by the pay per view network, whatever. I, I don't think so. I think I think two guys that you know their vignettes aired at the same time, dude, with Adam Rose and Bo Dallas. I think Adam Rose had potential, and it's already. You You're know, saying if they if Adam Rose up. started up here, it's already going down. Yeah. I think Bo I Dallas think is starting here, and it's going to go down real quick. I even can, even quick. I completely agree. Now yeah. it depends on what he does. Maybe he gets on the mic, and holy shit, Kills this it. guy's good. Yeah. yeah. I don't watch NXT. You might even know if he's going to the mic. I always heard he wasn't. He's not that good, man. So, he's, and he's very character driven the way they're promoting him. So he's very got, character driven. Yeah, it's not like he can just be a good worker and get over. No, he's got this big character that he's supposed to yeah. do. And yeah, yeah. If that if that doesn't fly as well as his work in the ring, you know, it doesn't matter how good he is. I think he has the look. Likes, you know. The look as well. You know, I just I I don't I don't. He's got a weird this, face. Yeah, he's got that Cody Rhodes looking face, right? No, he's just got a very weird looking face. It's hard yeah. to believe. It's that, hard to that believe. Bray Wyatt. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. I didn't even think of that. It's hard to believe, believe that Bray Wyatt and him are brothers. Are they full brothers or half? They are brothers. A lot of people often brothers. forget it. Are they half brothers? I think they're half you brothers. Sure? I think they're half brothers. Let us know in, in, the, uh, in the chat room, guys. WZROnline.com slash chat. Caller, you're live on WZR Online. <laughs> you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, fellas? This is Jason, uh, calling from uh, Cali. Uh, I'm a long-time uh, listener and called in uh, for a few days. Excuse the voice, but uh, I'm sick right now. But uh, a, a couple of things. Uh, if uh, WWE keeps on going uh, on this downward spiral, will talent uh, start to leave? Uh, Jason, this is Jason from California, boom, because I know you can uh, out here. Jason from California, uh, WWE, like, like, you said that they go on a downward spiral, 
Uh, and and will WWE talents continue like to what, leave? Are you talking about WWE or TNA? Uh, uh, WWE, as far as what's going on uh, with them right now, if the viewership starts going down and, and everything keeps on going down with them, will talent start to look at it and realize, well, maybe I should start to look somewhere else? No, I mean, listen, WWE is the, the top company in, in the world, man. I mean, in the United States, there's WWE number one, uh, TNA, I, I guess number two. I mean, you've got to you've got to call TNA number two just because they've got the Spike, default, TV, yeah. uh, Spike TV deal and, and, and everything else, and then Ring of Honor number <laughs> three, but WWE is always going to be that top company. We do need to talk. Uh, it's a good point that you bring up before we get into the, uh, the rapid fire segment. Who wants to know with WWE? I mean, they're kind of on a downward spiral right now with the WWE stock tanking. Yeah. The network numbers aren't that great. And, be, and because of that, our talent's going to say, well, fuck this. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm leaving. I mean, where do they go? I mean, WWE is the, the, uh, is the biggest company in the, uh, in, in the world today. So, so it's, Thanks for the call. Uh, let, uh, I'll tell you what. Before we get into rapid fire... Um, Let's talk about the WWE stock, right? And we can go a little bit long yeah. tonight, guys. If I mean, we've I do oh, want to no. touch on Rampage and Tito we have to, uh, yeah. a little bit, yeah, because that uh, that's even I mean, tied into TNA, right? So, I mean, let's talk about it. Uh, last week, uh, WWE announced that the NBC Universal NBC upfronts, uh, I believe it was on Thursday, um, <clears throat> that. WWE had renewed both Raw and SmackDown to remain on NBCU. Yeah. yeah. And on NBCU. Yeah, so Raw um, stay on USA Network, SmackDown stay on... Was it a fucking cab? What is this? What really? Is somebody out there? Yeah, the cab's in the middle of the room. <laughs> so they're going to keep working for a while. Hey! Silence. Not bad. Not bad, huh? Uh, uh, So they announced. I mean, basically, the idea here was Vince McMahon came out and said that when with when they were going to renew their TV rights, they expected to damn near triple the revenue. I think they almost not almost. I think they did promise that they would double, maybe like you said, triple. But I think they guaranteed a promise, or uh, guaranteed a promise. I think they guaranteed a double. Okay. I think. I know they were projecting or estimating, you know, predicting that they would get double and when right. it when it came to fruition when it came to you know, to, to light the the final thing, we don't even have the number yet. But we don't. They didn't we've release. heard that it's right. about sixty million increase, uh, mm-hmm. an increase of sixty million, which wouldn't even be uh close to doubling it. It would be like maybe getting a third on top of what you're normally getting. You know what I mean? If it's a hundred and twenty million they were getting or well, I forget the number. Mm-hmm. Let's just say it was 100. I think it was 119. I want to say 119 million. Yeah, let's let's just say 120 for clean math, and mm-hmm. uh, don't quote me on that figure because but that was their old deal, uh, I guess. So, you know, somewhere around there, whatever. Let's just say that's what it was. If they got 60 grand and they're at 180 now, they only got half what they were getting getting on top of what they you know they already made. You know, they got 60 right. grand on top of 120. Mm-hmm. They were expected to be 240 if they're doubling. 240 damn near to a triple of 120 would be 360. So they were projecting between 280... Uh, or no, wait. What was it? They two? were expecting about 300 million. No, between 240 and 360 is okay. what they were projecting. Because that's double, triple. 240, 360. They got 160. Let's make it 350. Between or they got 180. Let's make it between 240 and 350 million. And the reason I bring up 350 million yeah. <laughs> is because that's what Vince McMahon wound up losing last uh, the stock last is week. worth 350 million less. <laughs> right. Yeah. Dude. But uh, yeah, I mean, either way, they were they're projecting to get anywhere from 240, 240 to 360. 360. They right. got 180. Right. So they didn't even come close to they their low end projection, close. not even close. And as a result, which is what brought this whole thing up, WWE stock went from back in March, it was at thirty dollars a share, a little over thirty dollars a share. Mm-hmm. It's barely over. It's it's under eleven right now. Here's here's it's what in the tens. It dropped uh, by over half. WWE stock up whatever a couple of months ago, like Boone said in you know late it's February in March. In, in March. Um, WWE stock was at around e- even before this. WWE stock averaged around fifteen or sixteen dollars per share. Well, that was before. 
the network yes. launched, okay? And when the WWE network launched, WWE had predicted or they wanted 1 million subscribers pretty much right off the bat because you were going to have the initial subscribers, uh, you were going to have WrestleMania. They wanted a million. Internally, they wanted a million. Now, when they came out with the press release, they said by the end of the year, we want 1 million subscribers. That was to give themselves some leeway just in case they didn't come close to a million between the initial... I they wanted 2 million by the end of the year. By the end of the year. 1 million by the end of this year. So they set an easy goal that they thought <laughs> after the initial subscribers... They thought it was an easy goal. They thought it was a... Yeah, 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 they it wasn't thought. even an easy goal so, then, but yeah. It really wasn't, if, yeah. if you look at it. And they knew but, that. They didn't so, say it that way in the public, though. The initial, the initial you know, subscriptions, the network launches, loads of people are going to sign up just because yeah. it's WWE, they love WWE. Then WrestleMania on top of that. They thought that they were going to come close to a million, but in case they didn't, and they didn't, they set a goal for the end of the year to be close to a million, around yes. a million, one million. But that's not why the stock went up. So, no, 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 this, this leads to yeah. uh, a, the, a whole thing. So WWE stock was around $15, $16. Now, the, the, with, with that, the stock, the, the, the stock was, was, was holding steady, right? Then you have WrestleMania comes, and then the stock went up because... Two reasons. Uh, what, the main reason that I'm missing, which I'm, you, it's a mind you, fart right now. Listen, we just talked about it. it. Was the TV? It was the expectations that they were going to double their TV rights fees because with the network, they knew that they were going to be losing uh, upwards of fifty million dollars in revenue for this this calendar year. But they said they would not only make it up with the amount of uh, extra TV rights they get from NBC Universal or whoever they would negotiate and get a new deal with for their TV rights. They were expecting to double that, which would offset the losses in starting up the network. So because of, A, the, the potential and the promise of the network going forward, and B, the fact that they were damn near guaranteeing that they're going to double their TV rights fees, which would go from 120 to 240 which would cover more than cover the $50 million of losses of network, right. startup costs, people started loading up on buying network or WWE stock because, like, yo, when they announced that TV deal... And it if it's doubled, the stock is going to shoot up, and it, right. it's going to be. You buy it then, you're going to be buying it at a very high rate, as opposed to now where you get in on the the, the floor level where right. it's a steal. Right. Like yo, I'm only going to pay 11 right now, and in like a month or two, when they announce that TV, it's going to shoot up to 30, 40. Right. I can sell, make a ton of dough, and be you know. Instead, like you said, it, it, it stayed around 15. They did the network, then they mentioned that they uh, they expect to double the TV rights fees. So everybody started buying the stock, and then by it by March, way yeah, up. by way March up. we're up in the thirty, thirty one dollar, thirty two dollar right. range. Right. Uh, and then it started slowly going a little bit, and then when they announced that uh, network subscription level, it went down a little bit. The day after WrestleMania. Yeah, when they announced the uh, right. six hundred and sixty seven thousand uh, network subscribers, it went way down. It went pretty far down, right. and then it went way down when way they announced down. the TV uh, agreement. When they announced that without announcing a number. They didn't even tell us it's 180, but because there was hints they dropped right. in the way they described things, where it has to be around that maybe less, right? Maybe right. less, because it's in a it's maybe. in a uh, elevator payment status, which is where the one year you get this much, next year you get this much, the next year you get this much, depending on if you meet certain right. rules and stuff. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, <coughs> WWE stock uh, really wasn't supposed to be at thirty dollars per share. Um, well, but and that's what WWE had, was worth over a billion when they had their stock right, estimated at thirty per share right. or whatever that they were or when their stock was thirty per share they were estimated being well that's over when Forbes came out right that well was, over a billion that was the Forbes article right they were worth mm-hmm. well over a billion dollars right. that stock going up like that right. now I don't even know if they're, they're 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 a little over not a little they're a decent amount over half a billion so what it all boils down to they lost is under half. The network numbers were lower than expected, and granted, yeah. I mean, you guys may think six hundred and something thousand, you know, subscribers is a great number. It is, but but where, not for what they need. Where are these numbers going? It, it is a good, it, it is a really good number, but now that everybody's got WrestleMania, where are these? Wh- who's going to sign up now? Just you know, random fans here and there. 
some people for pay-per-views, but if you didn't order WrestleMania, you're probably not going to order Payback or Money in the Bank. WrestleMania is the big one. You're going to have a, a, a few yeah. that are going to order Payback and Money in the Bank. They, then what happens when the six-month well, uh, subscription... My, that was my big up. argument several weeks ago, and we got into it a little bit, because I'm like, because you're like, it'll steadily increase by the end of the year, they might get close to a million. I said, no. I said, it'll steadily increase, but the, right. at one point, there'll be this giant fucking decline when that six month subscription expires for, right. for those 700,000 people that signed yeah. up when that expires are you getting all of them to re-sign without no, WrestleMania absolutely for six months hell no you're not. you're not no so you're you're going to steadily increase with these you know we'll give you $50 bump, bump, merchandise bump, 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 we'll then six all months. the warrior dies we'll give you some a warrior week we'll give you these yep. things that, that, that'll bring in that'll trickle in people of people uh, uh, subscription people, which is the big discussion at that time, and my big thing was no, opposite, wrong. You're right, you're right. When that fucking six month subscription expires for the six hundred sixty seven thousand people that we just a assume, lot of those people, we just assume we're going to take that number and slowly, all right, we're not going to do big jumps in here and there. <coughs> no, we're going to take six sixty seven, six hundred sixty seven thousand. We're going to slowly add to it, slowly add to it, and build from there. And I'm like, no, 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 no. When you're we right. get to that six month drop off, those are going way down. A lot of people. I think a lot, a lot of people. Lot. You're I right. think you're good for 200k, not re-signing. I think I agree I with that. I think you might be I agree 450. With that. 40. Now, granted, Jesus. you're gonna have that's you're scary. gonna have. Now, people are gonna say, well, with all that being said, that's only the United States. You're gonna have this thing launch in Canada, but, the United Kingdom, this, that, and the other thing. But in the United States, if you're only drawing 600,000, well, let's round it up, 600,000, okay? Yeah. And then some of those people are gonna be. <laughs> Leaving, like you said, I agree. Maybe two hundred thousand, probably uh, a mean, lot of people. Guess a number, but it's going to be a lot more than they think. A lot of people are going to are going to take off. They're not going to renew. You add, let's say that uh, six hundred thousand Americans. Let's say for the hell of it, six hundred thousand uh, Europeans. See, I wanted to cut you off before you go international, because real quick, okay, to your point, that you said by the end of the year they needed a million national domestic, domestic yeah. subscribers now we're there. looking at maybe even less than the 667 they announced the day after wrestlemania early in the year at the end of by the, the year, end yes. of the year where you're like all right maybe we can climb by the end of the year get to that million slowly but surely you know slow and steady wins that the race drop is gonna kill them that drop's that gonna drop kill them gonna and kill all those little increases they did won't even offset the amount they're gonna lose so from let's the people not rolling over let's by the end of the year if you're not even close if you're even further away from a million mm -hmm. By the end of the year, than you were when you announced that six sixty seven. What are you going to tell? That stock's going to. What are you going to tell your investors? What are you going to tell you your have investors? To tell them. Then? We we didn't hit a million. You can always or, tell or, them at some point we're we're, we're gonna, we got this idea, that idea, this plan, that plan, and it'll drive some. So let's say this. But there's nothing left that has the giant magnetic appeal of WrestleMania, and that's coming and gone until next saw, year. Until and we've next seen what that's people, done. Yeah, right. Maybe next year they'll have, and you can get it for another six months, but not until next year. Maybe they'll dig up fucking you know Buddy Rogers or somebody, and he'll come out of retirement and main event WrestleMania, and two million people sign. We've seen, come on, man, their best foot forward WrestleMania. They had Rock, Austin, and Hogan. And, you know what I mean? Take streak. Listen, you so let's Dan say this. Bryan finally let's getting the, let's you know, say this, bro. Let's say, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. In the United States, domestic buys by the end of the year, let's say that they still have 600,000 fans. And you okay. know that at the end of the year, we're going to say, well, I say that's a very good six, number, 600,000. 600, they'll probably, you're probably going to see a press release at the end of the year saying we got 1.1 million subscribers, as but everybody. as a whole, yeah. Yeah. how many of those 1.1 million are still signed up to the network today? Yeah. Out of the on 1. December 31st, 1, what's your number? Out one point, give us your number yeah. of current subscribers. Well, they're supposed on to. December 31st. Well, that's then what they, they do. press release and but focus you, on the fact that total subscriptions is 1.1. They they're, they're, they're supposed to have to to release the number on those uh of current those subscribers. Calls. Yeah. Current subscribers. Or at least they promised that they would. They will spin that press release to say that we had 1.1 million so we hit our goal, but out of that 1. million, 1.1 million, only 600,000 are still subscribed. And I got news for you. They held not only did they do the release about the new NBC Universal deal, but Vince McMahon and George Barrios held a conference call. They refused to comment on the network subscription levels. Talking people, about the one from yesterday? Yeah. And okay. people were asking, like, all right, your, your TV deal sucks, basically. Uh, right. how, how is, how's the network doing? And, right. Well, we don't want to comment on the subscription levels at this time. Right. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. At that point, more than ever, real quick, uh -huh. if you're telling people bad news about this, if you've got a nice increase in your subscription levels, mm -hmm. that's when you tell them, like, all right, this Absolutely. sucks, this is bad for us, but check this out. 
to check we this got, out. Our network yeah, subscribers, we, you we should that, be touting that. And they've that. done promotional you things. The merchandise, that. the free merchandise, the Warrior Week. They've done things. In the, the fact, main event, trying to put people on that. If they didn't, in the fact, yeah. The fact that they refused to announce that, that number sucks. And not only that, but let's say this. Vince McMahon and George Berrios, right? They do conference calls. The first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. That's the this only like time. An emergency one. Yeah. This was an emergency conference call because the stock fell so much; it dropped it dramatically, tanked, dramatically. That Vince McMahon said, "Okay, let me get on this calm Monday. Everybody down. We've got to get on a conference. Yeah. This Monday, we've got to calm everybody and they the didn't, fuck down." They didn't say and shit. Then, <laughs> and then, uh, and the investors aren't stupid. No. Yesterday at the conference call, the investors kept asking them. How many subscribers do you have right now? In the and well, we don't want to talk about that. And how much are you getting for this TV deal? Because they won't. They still didn't. We don't want to talk it. about they that. We don't want to. Well, and, and do you think that by not revealing those numbers, and once again, WWE stock went down at the closing bell today? They were at ten dollars, down one yeah. percent from it's yesterday. It's down one percent. So that whole conference call that they did yesterday. It dropped again. Yeah, not only did it not today. help, it hurt. Yeah, and I think they're going to level off soon, like you said. 1%. It's got it. It's going it to level to. off soon because right. the people that, you know, those are the court, they're in. You mm-hmm. know, they're in. Right. But, uh, yeah, like you said, now if they're on the conference call, and the whole purpose of this call, which was not a scheduled call in the calendar, like you said, emergency mm-hmm. call, if you want to call it that, the whole point of it was to calm everybody down. Right. If they were not telling them the numbers of the TV deal, <laughs> they will not tell them the <laughs> network subscription numbers, Obviously, they know, well, those numbers aren't going to calm these people down. It's going to make it worse. Right. So that's what an investor, like you said, they're not stupid. Obviously, they put right. two and two together. If they're not telling us the numbers, they must suck. Because if, if they're trying to calm us down right now and the numbers are good, they tell us we'd be calm. The fact that they're not telling us means they know it's not going to calm us down. It's going to make not it worse. Good. So they're going to try and fucking buy time and have a different, well, by the time they come around for the next call, like, oh, spin this, this sucks, but it. check right. it out, we got this going on in this business, uh, this revenue stream, you know, DVDs are up, or whatever the fuck, you know, we're doing this new thing in merchandise that's going to make us a ton of profit, or this new deal in India for TV, they'll have something that they could say, yeah, that sucks, but what about this? Absolutely. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. Uh, last night, or And they weren't even supposed to do a call yesterday, like no. we just talked about. That's I hope like, you guys are I don't know why they even did the call, like, at the end, after the call, when you're done, you're like... Well, what the fuck was the point of that? They didn't say anything, and it was if if you're an investor, did more bad than good. It stopped. Did, yesterday so. did more bad than good uh, with with that conference call. I hope you guys are learning something right now because this is the business aspect of WWE. Well, this when is you what guys drives everything you when, see on TV. When you guys see the stuff on TV, you yeah. watch Raw and SmackDown every so week. As a result of there's this a shit. lot. Yes. It's as a yeah. result of, if of the stuff. It we're may not sound about. like a big deal. I know. I've seen a lot of comments where we we post the merchandise. Uh, rankings like who sells the most and stuff, mm-hmm. and people are like, "Well, who cares how many T-shirts and wristbands John Cena sells?" Like, I'll tell you who cares: <laughs> guys who wear suit and ties in the office in Stanford, Connecticut, and say, "Yo, we need to push this guy. He's making us money." If there was no merchandise, that's what it's all if about. If there were no live event ticket sales, if there was none of this stuff, you wouldn't have a WWE hmm. right now. Yeah, video games, and DVDs, and and merchandise, and that's why that works. That's why house show tickets, pay per view revenue, the TV business rights aspect in the. In the Stop! Yes, that's that's where all your money comes from. So that was that was pretty good, right there. Yeah. So right, anybody who can man. move the needle is obviously going to give a shove from WWE. Ooh, if John Cena right. sent a bunch of shirts to kids, right. yo, let's go with John Cena. You know, right? All right. Uh, uh, so that, that brings up a whole other argument there, which, which we don't need to get into. But like, you got to make the merchandise cool for the crowd that it appeals to. Cena's shit's colorful. That appeals to kids. <coughs> Dan right. Bryan doesn't necessarily appeal to kids. A. B. Even if he did, there's not too many kids I know that want to walk around with a shirt of a black silhouette and a big giant beard. Right, right, right. It says fear exactly. the beard or whatever. That's not cool merchandise. Austin sold merchandise like crazy because guess what? His merchandise was cool. He had the broken like skull, skull and, and right, 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 right. Austin 316, simple black and white, cool looking shit. Right. Even if you're not a wrestling fan, you would wear it. Right. And the big test is if you are a wrestling fan and you want to wear it, you know, are you embarrassed to wear that shirt around? Right. Austin 360 days, NWO days. Austin 316 shirts, you still see them out yeah, there Yeah, NWO logo shirts, those were hot as shit. Even the ECW uh, ECW's another great I've example. I've got one in there. I forgot about ECW. that, that's a great example, the ECW logo. It says EC fucking W on, on the EC yeah. F and W on but, the uh, I've got it in there. Yeah, so they're, if they're cool and you're not embarrassed to wear them, those are the shit that will sell, and they're not doing it. I think it. that was the only t-shirt I've ever bought was the EC F and W uh, t-shirt. But I've no, known a lot of absolutely, years. dude. Especially people, as a kid, I've grown grown men aren't gonna wear 
you know, fear the beard and big uh, fucking stuff like that. Yeah. Although, I never go on my main Facebook wall, right? I never go on the main Facebook wall. The other day, I was on there because I go to my main, uh, you know, Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR and I the put Rock the links had up. Cool merchandise too. I put the links up. And there was a guy, at least not here, there was a guy by the name, and maybe he'll hear this on the archive, by the name of Dino UK. He's in there. That we have. He was. I thought he was in there. Right. There's a guy by the name of Dino UK. He's a diehard, loyal, very smart guy, WZR very good guy. TV fan. He's here every Tuesday night. He was I in our see fantasy a photo. football league. I yeah. see a photo on the Dino UK's Facebook page. He's got the John Cena wrist. Ain't he the guy? That He's got the Royal John England? Cena t-shirt. He's got the John Cena hat. He's going out like this, and he takes the photo. Yes, he is the guy, the guy that owns his own radio show. And it, it, he did it. like a battle royal in England or something, and he, we were promoting it for him. Yeah. He had the whole fucking John Cena gear going. I think I even replied is on the post, and I said, eh, he's probably our age, I would and say. And he's wearing his, colorful his, John Cena shit? I think he did it as a, as a joke. As a goof? As a goof, yeah. but he he They're was he in went to bed. he was in full John Cena regalia gear yeah. regalia. <laughs> I like it. I like that word. He'll listen to the archive. Do you know what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, man? <laughs> anyway, it almost reminds me of this one faggot we knew. Uh, sorry, uh, this one <laughs> dude we knew who did a DX entrance theme. He did a Titan Tron. Oh god! He did a Titan Tron video in his backyard of a uh, D Generation X, and he was part of DX. No comment. Fucking queer. Yeah. No comment. I hate that kid. Uh, John Cena and Luke Harper was the uh, main event of Raw last night. There was tons of outside interference. Okay. After it was over, yeah. uh, the Wyatt family went up the ramp. Um, Bray grabbed the microphone and started comment or started singing. You know, we got the whole yeah. world in our hands, and that's how Raw went off the air Whoa. With, with Bray Wyatt uh, singing. Winner's Lair. I'm sorry. He says Dino is 44 years old. Is he 44? He doesn't look that old. He says it's a hun- it's in a hun- it's a hundred percent joke. God, I God, I hope it was Dino that was wearing the T-shirt. I hope yeah. I don't have the wrong guy. He said he's 44 and he says it's a joke. So it is. Yeah, it looked like a joke. I mean, he put it up as I mean, a, as a joke. But I said, Dino, what are you doing, man? I think I even commented on the post. This yeah, it's crazy, money man. for that joke. You're, You're crazy, know. man. You gotta buy the yeah. shit to wear it. He's a great uh, Dino. Is is one of those guys he's that one is of the good ones. every single yeah. week. There's a lot of you guys in here. Winner's Lair is another There's one about in here. 10 right of them that, that have not only been here every week. I wore years. But they're bro. here every week for years. Now. Years. I mean, some of you guys we notice <laughs> every week when we come on it. You guys are in the chat room. Yeah, see on my Facebook page. It's fucking awesome. A lot of guys get older awesome. and they don't listen. They don't even watch wrestling anymore, let alone listen to internet radio shows. And you it's guys awesome. remember, we've been around 15 fucking years doing this. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of diehards come and go, but those are right. guys that have been around for fucking ever. Years, man. Yeah. It's it's pretty crazy, man, to see uh, these guys come back every Tuesday night. So, alright, let's get into rapid fire. Don't want to omit you guys tonight. You'll get all pissed off. So we're going to do a, a little bit of overtime. We're actually already in overtime. We're eight, finished Raw? Eight minutes over. We just uh, finished Monday Night Raw with the main event of Cena and Harper yes. showing off the air with yeah, yeah, you know, okay. Ray Wise singing. Well. Alright, so we're going to do a, uh, a refresh of the rapid fire. If you guys haven't submitted your loads. questions just yet, I hope it loads. <laughs> that What's would going suck. on here, man? I'm trying to stall for time, man. Yeah, 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 right? I don't see no thing going in circles. Mm. It's not even doing nothing. Let's see what we got. But, uh, God, we're trying on. to get to you. You can still call us, Poop. There we are. 518-712-3070. You can ring us up. We'll take your calls for the next, uh, whatever. Oh, shit. We're already over, huh? We're way over. Wow. That's what I was just saying, man. Yeah. All right. Well, Ooh, that stock going. conversation was pretty good, though. Yeah. All right. I'll start it out. You ready? Here yeah, we go. This one. It's my turn. I can't read. All right. Let's check it out here. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Gotcha. Jason Hansen. So, last week, Clark posted a link to some song, and in the comments, he said, people like Drake don't rap. They just talk and he said somebody drop me a beat and I can do that easily and be famous too I can if you drop me well let's see if he can back it up no I like I I would need to listen I would need to write something down drop me a beat yo yo my name is Ryan Clark I'm on the air WZR TV 
every Tuesday night. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Eight to ten Eastern time. From the bottom, now my whole Albany, team New York. Here. Started from the we bottom, do a radio now show. Kevin Ron once. Get the fuck. Do a radio one. show. That's the point that I was trying hey, to Ryan, make. Ryan, what are you talking about? That's the about? point that I was trying to make is that I could be a Drake. I could be a soldier boy. I could be these no-name garbage Wait, rappers man. that if you put a beat on the in the background, I could say, "Yo, my name is Ryan Clark. I'm from Albany." Nobody says York. my name is anyway. I love how every white it's boy, so every stupid. white boy, when you ask them to rap, they, their first line is always, "Let's say your name's John Hancock." My name is John Hancock, and I'm here to say that I'm from from Brooklyn, and it's the favorite way. And, and, and it's like such corny bullshit line. Call when I listen to Soldier Boy, on the air. Soldier Boy and listen. Drake and people like that on the radio, I hear yeah. the same thing. The same talking over a beat. It's the worst rap I've heard yeah. in my life. If you listen to guys Go. like John Connor, Slaughterhouse, Action we got Bronson, all these rapid fires. people like that. Fucking guys, you're going to talk about rap for the next 20 minutes. You done? I, I was my rap that I just you did was there. better than Drake and sit, Soldier Boy. You and sit there, like pal. That. Caller, you're on the air here. Welcome to WCR TV. What's going on? What's on your mind? Oh my God! What is up, white boy rappers? <laughs> white boy rappers <laughs> in the house, yeah. bro. What's going on? Pluralize that. I didn't rap. <laughs> oh my God! You guys are something else. What's going on, fellas? What's up, man? Uh, listen, I got a question for you guys. Um, what's been going on with these whole investigations as far as law firms? Filing suits for fraud on WWE's part and whatnot. Well, basically, what's going on is there's two separate law firms. Right now, uh, I forget the names already. I know one of them was uh, what? One of them came out today, and the other one came out. Uh, yeah, the a couple yesterday of days one was ago. like from a place like Louisiana or some shit. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're, they're, they're two law firms. But uh, they're basically they're investigating based on fraudulent uh, security, which basically means they're ba here's what it boils down to. <coughs> they're saying. WWE has been lying to uh, their investors. And their shareholders. And their right. shareholders, just is what I should say. Yeah, th exactly. Their shareholders, they've been lying to uh, about different things. The, the business stuff. Like, uh, the network. Uh, why aren't they Why aren't they coming out with numbers? Not why? only that, but no, they're lying. Like, they'll say, like, they had the big uh, survey that went out that said, there's a wrestling fan in every other house in America. And that turned out to be, like, well, let's just throw a number out. It's completely wrong, but let's say it's... 600 million people. So they're saying there's 600 million WWE fans in the in America. Right. And not even the world, America. Uh, if we can get, you know, 1% of them to sign up, that's 6 million uh, subscriptions. You know what right. I mean? Like, and, and that's we, clearly bullshit. We talked about... That's not the specific thing that they're being investigated over, but it's stuff like that where they, they give out bullshit information to give a promising outlook on how things are going to their shareholders... And then when the crunch time comes and they have to give the real number and they're not even close, when shoulders like what the fuck? When you guys yeah. when you guys read those press releases that WWE sends out, they always all of their press releases, especially at the first quarter, second quarter, third and fourth quarter earnings, they'll send out this press re press release and they'll make it seem like everything is hunky dory, everything's great, right? All the numbers are good, you know. And there's a reason. If something drops, there's always a reason behind it, and. and and it's better than what it really is. And some of these uh, these firms are now coming out saying, well, with the WWE stock price dropping and you guys refusing to announce, you know, what your TV deal is really worth with NBCU, um, with the network, Thanks um, for the call, by the way. What, what the network numbers and, and things like that are. Um, there are, are two different firms now that are investigating WWE to find out, are they lying with what they're putting out? Are they lying with the numbers? Are they misleading? Um, are they misleading people? Sure. Exactly. Sure. That's that's pretty much what it is. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens with uh, with you know what their investigations uh, turn up and reveal. Caller, you're live on WZR TV. What's going on? Hello, is this Ryan and Matt? This is Ryan and Matt. What's going on, man? This is Dino from UK. Dino UK. John Cena in the house. <laughs> so you're talking crap about me wearing Cena gear, are you? <laughs> I saw the photo up. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> let it, let it. That photo was a year let ago. It. That was after I did the uh, rumble appearance when I did the when I went into the ring and did the rumble. I got a bet on that this guy wearing a Cena shirt. <laughs> Cena, talk over it, man. That's your theme song. <laughs> That's your theme, bro. Talk over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the word like, so you think you're untouchable. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the the word life one, the thugonomics. Yeah, but uh, go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> that is uh, no, it was uh, dude. I saw. You know what? I never go through my uh, my main Facebook wall, man. And and I don't know. It was a couple of days ago or something like that. I was going through the main Facebook and I said, "What the fuck is this?" I said, "I know this guy." And then it said, "Dino." Yeah, that's the guy that kicked your ass in fantasy it's, football toy. Oh come on now. Let's not go there. Yeah. I said, "That's Dino from the WZR Army," and I see him all decked out in WZR gear. I said, "I got to comment on this one, man." Oh, well, I'm not. I'm uh, going to the NFL game this year, and I'm seeing the Lions versus the Cowboys. You seeing so the I'm Lions? Going to see your team this year. Where are you going? To the Detroit or Dallas? No, they, they go. Overseas. I'm going to go Detroit. I'm going to go Detroit because Ke Winters lays Cowboys, but I've got a ticket for the Wembley game again this year, so I'm so going. You're going to be in Detroit, you son of no, a bitch. No, he's not going to be in he Detroit. He said he's going to Detroit. No, he says the e he's going for Detroit. Oh, for the, Detroit. The NFL goes overseas for that one you're going game. Going to England? They go overseas every Why? year for one game. I didn't know they that. take one or two games overseas. Huh. And they ha they they hold Smart it in, in Wembley. I guess it's the uh, the Lions and the Cowboys. Smart idea, yeah. You take something. Yeah. You know. I don't know I'll how go, popular football is. I'll go for England. Dallas. I'll take Dallas. Well, I'll I don't go. know how the teams are this year, but I would obviously go for Detroit either way. Yeah. But, yeah. All right, Dino UK. Thanks for the call, brother. What's uh what's UK the radio UK. show? Get a, get a, get a, get a plug out. Okay. Yeah. My website bwrradio.com. That's a cool one. BWRRadio.com. All right, thanks for the call, bro. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye bye. All right, man. Take care, Dino. Yeah, BWRRadio.com. Check him out. Great show. Great guy. And uh, yeah, great stuff. He's loyal, diehard uh, member, man. Tim Krieger says, "Do you think that the WWE has wasted the uh, Undertaker's undefeated WrestleMania streak for nothing? There has been nothing done on air about it besides Paul Heyman's reigning. An amazing thing wasted, in my opinion. I think. Uh, I think. I mean." That go back. That goes back to the argument: Should Brock Lesnar have been the guy to break it? Because obviously he's got a limited schedule. Obviously right. he wasn't going to be around for you know payback and extreme rules. Although he, he's been in extreme rules the last few years, I think Triple H and John Cena. But um, so yeah, I, I guess the idea was we'll keep it alive through Paul Heyman. Even though Paul Heyman's representing Cesaro, every promo is him mm -hmm. talking about the streak still, which right. kind of doesn't do a whole lot for Cesaro makes him seem kind of second fiddle in my opinion they do Cesaro Lesnar when when that's eventually happening yeah eventually yeah. Cesaro gets sick and gets fed up turns on Heyman and then Heyman sticks Lesnar on him right same right. thing they did with Heyman and uh, I like CM, that Heyman and CM Punk yeah you know. well I like that though I mean that yeah. elevates Cesaro well listen yeah you turn on Heyman that makes you a huge baby face right Absolutely. and you got a big main event got to work with with Brock Lesnar. Lesnar it's a great push hell yeah, yeah. man no doubt no doubt all right back to uh, rapid fire we've got John Morgan Ryan wherever you were were you ever part of the website pure wwf oh my god i forgot oh. about that site wow Paul banker Yes, and then he renamed it WrestlingExposed.com. Yes, yes, I forgot right? about that. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, the head like reporter. red and yellow or black and yellow. Or yes, something. I was the head reporter for uh, for that website for years and years and years. I was in mid there for a couple years. Were you? Yeah, I, I was the head reporter, man. Caller, you're live on WZR-TV. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, man? This is Cyber Devil. What's going on with your mods? What's going on with my mom's? No, your moderators. Oh, my uh, moderators. Uh, what's, I don't know. You tell man, me, I'm man. What's going on? I'm drinking with you guys. I'm partying with you guys. And I'm not saying nothing you guys aren't saying. And I got kicked out of what, that room. What, what exactly did you say that got you kicked out specifically? Because I'm word, curious. I said the word faggot right he after Boone did. I said, oh, he said somebody was a faggot, man. And they kicked me out with, with no reason and no explanation. So I screwed up. I logged back in. So I screwed up, and this guy had to pay for it. Which moderator kicked him out? So which moderator kicked him out? Be a man in the chat right now. Stand up and say, "Yo, I kicked him out." Uh, I, I'm the I'm the guy. That I did got it. Uh, fault. I said F, I said the F word first. I got the ac it. I got the access to the admin panel, man. I'll take care of you as soon as we go off the air here tonight, man. Boone fucked up, man. Yeah, Boone that's said, my fuck. Up. Boone Boone said it, and then somebody repeated yeah, it. Yeah, and so I apologize because I said it. I realize we'll, we'll take care of you, man. I got the uh, I got the admin panel, so as soon as we go off the air, we'll get you back in there. All right, man. All right, bro. No, I'm not fully kicked out. I was just offended, man. I was like, damn, this is my first time here. I'm trying to enjoy the show. I'm drinking with you guys. I'm having See? a good time. That a boy. See, See, guys, damn, he's I a good guy. I didn't even realize it at first. Uh, come on, chat moderators. Yeah, come on. This is a good dude. I hate hearing this. this. Is Especially a good dude. if he did it, it was Rygal. Of course it was Rygal. Uh, uh, when I hear it, if, if it's in the context, which this gentleman said it was, which is where he said Boone just said, 
Faggot. We'll take care of him. Then that, that he didn't say anything wrong. Why would you kick him? We've told Rago you could say whatever you want. All right, we'll take care and of you, I bro. You're not paying this guy. No, no, no. no. All right, we'll, yeah. we'll take care of you, brother. Right, that makes sense. We got you, brother. We got you. Thanks right, for the support Thank of the. You. Uh, I'm still gonna enjoy the show, man. All right, I appreciate Thanks, it, sir. man. Thanks for the support of the uh, of the show. We'll and see, take Rago care says, of "What the fuck? We have rules." We do have rules, but not in that did. context. I know. I said, I it, and know. he said, "Boo." I don't want to get involved. If he called somebody a faggot that okay maybe kick him all right but if he said boom said right now i understand why you did it bro we do have rules you're right man yeah, and but but it was uh, i'll Somebody talk to you that. <laughs> no, I, I, listen we do have rules and you fucked up and yeah, then the, guy re- I fucked up. the guy repeated you in the chat room and it's it's all cleared That's up retarded. everything's good to go man everything's good to go everybody's good, good. right guy you're good Caller, you're good. Everybody, new caller. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? Yeah, this is Rigo. Look, Rigo, Rigo. Rigo. I thought we have man? very basic rules. He said a word. He but got a kick. He's right. Did he, he say, say, he what did he say word. Boone said? He didn't get banned. Did he say he Boone said? Excuse me? Did he say Boone said? That's what he said he said. I saw the word faggot. Oh my God. He's, got he He's got a point. He's got a point. We do. Boone said. No, there are certain rules. Oh, Rygau, Rygau saw the word. Rygau saw the word and he banned him. And you said. No, it. no, no. I didn't ban him. I kicked him out. He came right back in and right. I said, You got a very basic All right, so it was a warning. Boone just said. don't do it again. It was a warning. It was just a warning. And I even said uh, to you on air. I even said to you on air. I rolled my eyes when you said it. Okay? I rolled my eyes when you said it. And you said, Yo, my yeah, bad. No, as soon as I my said bad. it, I was like, Whoops. Cause I was same that. thing. Same thing yeah. with, with the guy in the chat room. Yo, he got kicked out. It wasn't a ban. It wasn't an IP ban. He got kicked mm. out. It was just a warning. Just like I gave you I on like, air. I rolled eyes. Yeah. Hey, everybody's good. I, so like wait, to have, I like to have an unfiltered chat room where, where you say whatever you want within reason. If you're out there uh, gay bashing and calling people a faggot, racist bashing, saying the N-word, whatever, that's one thing. If we say it and you say, yo, Boone just said faggot, uh, you don't ban or kick someone, whatever. You don't kick someone out for that. He didn't ban him. He didn't Same ban him. Right. Don't do anything. Hey, He's but just wait a minute. me. But wait a minute. Rygal's still modding the chat room. Yeah, no, we're I still, appreciate we're it. Still, he does a great job. We're yeah. still doing a show, and the and the, the caller is back in the chat room, yeah. so everything works out. Everything's good to go. It makes me think what else is happening that I don't know about. Wait, wait, no, wait. I just want to make sure you know I never abuse anything as far as rules. Anybody I've ever kicked has been insulting somebody. You man, Rygal. Yeah, Rygal's being a fa- all, The people oh, make <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's good. We're good. Everybody's good to go. Hey, see, see, See how Clark calms Thanks everybody Rago, down. Thanks, by the way. Everybody calms everybody yeah, down. You quell the situation. Quell the situation. Yeah. Everybody's back in the chat room. <laughs> we got our mods. We're still doing the oh, show. God. We're good to go here tonight. Let's get to so that. listen, we apologize. Listen, it was Boone. I sh- fucked up. Boone shouldn't have used that no, word. No, I shouldn't have. The person and in I the said chat. It as soon as I this said it. This is what I deal with on Facebook. People come running to oh, me. Oh God, it got my nerves. I have every answer be who cares? And Shut I up. So hard Leave me alone. I try so hard to keep everybody happy. Uh, just keep everybody. But anyways, to the caller who got kicked out, we apologize. You're back in the chat room now. Boone apologizes for the language, and we got our mods. So, Jeez my bad. Christ. All right, here we go. Let's get back to a couple more rapid fire questions. Teresa Baker, since our birthdays are a day apart, can we have our date then? I mean, I have to wait. That is my birthday. I mean, August. if I have to wait, that is. She said, "Yeah, she's in love with you, bro. That girl's always hitting on you every week." Teresa? Yeah. Teresa Baker. She's not that bad looking, man. Throw us some dick. <laughs> if anybody calls oh, in the chat room, August anybody calls in the chat room, Boone said throw him some dick. Do not kick that guy out. It's just a quote. Jay August Mullen. August uh, 16th is my birthday. There you go. Cards, cash, he'll take it all. Jay Mullen uh, says, you guys, are you guys planning on living to, together forever? No. Serious question. Get him out of here. Fuck no. Get him out no, of here. I'm here because I got into some financial trouble and he was a great friend and let me come and uh, stay here for cheap. <laughs> John Cones in the house. You said CM Punk is supposed to return at payback. No. Bro. Oh wow! You still had that one little joke, and he I took was it serious. joking, wow. man. And People, John Cones is a thing. regular. You that's think he thing. would know? Wow. You put something up on the website, and every word you say, they hang off. Dude, when yes, I said they CM, live off of them. Listen, it was a joke. Payback's in Chicago, so the rumor is CM Punk's returning his payback. It's in Chicago. No, it, it was a joke. Joking, bro. Obviously. Joking, bro. Anthony Remy has a good question. He says, is there going to be another Nation of Domination faction in WWE? Did you hear about this, brother? Yeah, I wrote about it. Um, 
just being talked about. There's no plans for it. Right. Uh, it's, it's, it's under discussion, and a lot of things are under discussion that never come to fruition. But this particular one, I, I don't know if it will or won't. I won't say that. I won't even lean one way or the other. Oh, Xavier Woods. I won't even say, oh, there's a good chance or there, it's doubtful. I won't say either one because I don't know. I have no right. idea. But my personal opinion, I think it's a great idea. And great for a couple idea. different reasons. And the guys in it would be Xavier. R-Truth, yep. Xavier Woods, huh? Big E, Kofi Kingston. You could throw Mark, Mark Henry, Henry in there. I was going to say Mark Henry. And he would make yeah. sense because I believe yeah. he was in the original nation, Mark Henry. That'd be a good idea. So he'd be the only guy sense. that, that the, is a tie-in from the old nation mm-hmm. to the new nation. But I think in, but in to general... Get guys like Xavier Woods and R-Truth over, you know, well, a good idea. Well, it's only going to get one or two guys over if that, you're lucky. A faction right. spins out one or two stars, generally speaking. True, true. In this case, none of those guys are really a star right now so you group them up and mm-hmm. one guy breaks in and becomes a star you made a star yeah so i, I think like it's it. good for that reason uh like alone and b every guy we just named our truth xavier woods biggie to an extent i think he's underrated kofi right. kingston absolutely yeah. are all talented guys that are being used like shit kingston's absolutely. had a couple of near misses uh-huh. with a push uh our truth and tna was amazing as right. uh the truth our truth has got uh uh ron killings yeah, well, he was the truth at first, and then Ron Killings. The truth, and then Ron Killings. Yeah. And Tina he Buck. was, uh, he was, what was it, K. Quick or something? K. Quick, yeah, right, right, right. But he's very time. good on the mic, man. He's a great in-ring worker, man. He's a great really, worker. Right? And, dude, he was TNA's main guy in those pay-per-view days I was talking about earlier Absolutely. when I watched week to week. He right. was, like, the guy. He was. And, he was. You know, this is the fucking, uh... The Truth Asylum, I think they called it before. It was called the Impact Zone. It was the Truth Asylum. What was the Asylum? No, uh, it was the Truth Asylum. And then when he left, it became the Asylum. Okay. And then okay. it became the Impact Zone. But originally, the first person to name that building was our truth was It was it? the Truth Asylum. Right. And he was, wasn't was just rapping and shit. Right. He was cutting badass promos. Yeah. He's yeah, no really doubt. good. All right, we're uh, we're so, going yeah. we're going way late tonight, guys. We're gonna try to get through all the rapid fire because we know if we don't and we go off the air, you're gonna bitch and moan at yes. us in the uh, in the comment section. Uh, Jason Hansen, back again. I remember when Barrett debuted his BNB Bad News Barrett yeah. uh, gimmick on Raw, and I posted on your thread that this will work and we'll get Barrett over. And I recall you pretty much said. I'll never get over it'll never and get over. it'll never get over and that Barrett will always be a jobber. Well, Clark, Did you, you really were wrong. That? I was right. I don't remember saying no, that. I'll, I'll give you this much. If somebody would have told me the first week I saw the Bad News Barrett character, right. I would completely could see myself saying, yeah, that's only going to get over to a certain level. It's going to be a mid-card you know, comedy thing at best. I'm, Bad comedy at that that uh, gets like cheap heel heat and then it just eventually. I'm being honest with you, uh, but geez, I mean it superseded anything I thought. It could I, be. If I said that, I I will admit I I was wrong. Yeah. Uh, if I did say that, and I'd well, admit if I remember saying yeah. it, but I don't well, remember. Well, make it seem lame at first, but so it makes sense. It does somebody seem, would say like, "Yo, that's never right. gonna get over." It, it does it seem like a lame. Sense. Well, I've got some bad news for you. Yeah. Something like that probably wouldn't get over. So it's very possible that I did say that. Um, How often can the same joke get over every week? But it turned right. out to be, it got so annoying and so fucking, oh, hey. here he comes again, like that people started liking him. I'll give, I'll give him credit. If it, Listen, man, if if I did say that, I was wrong, man. And I, uh, w- Bad News Barrett's gimmick right now is, it's the he, best thing he's done in WWE he, so far. He turned chicken shit into chicken salad. Well, he was on the uh, NXT team there, the, uh, the faction. Right, right. He was the he was guy in the, in the Nexus and all that stuff yeah. originally, you know. I like where they're going with it, man, and I'm, I'm glad that it's taken off. I mean, he's, he's got potential. Christopher Brown says, hypothetical question for you guys with regards to the future breakup of the Wyatt family. When it happens, how would you do it in such a way where Luke Harper and Eric Rowan aren't booked or look weaker after the breakup? Mm-hmm. That's I tough. think Luke Harper's got a future. Luke Harper looked really good last night in his he's, match with his uh, matches John Cena. always look good. I yeah. don't know if anybody's like caught on to that, but he's like always got good matches. Really good worker, huh? Yeah, for a big guy too, yeah. he's really yeah. good. Um, and, and he's the only one they let talk other than Bray. Like he'll get a couple lines here and there in promos. That was the other thing last night on Raw. He that the promo whistle, segment. He would do the whistling if you remember when they first started doing the singing. Right. And then he, he would get a line here and there last night. He got he a said, line last night but Rowan didn't the other guy. Uh, Rowan, Rowan said run okay, right before the that's commercial. What it was. That was it. Okay. He had one word with a fucking right. mask on his face. So I guess they're not confident in his uh, verbal ability. In his abilities. right? But uh, right. Luke they let talk a little bit so obviously he's got at least some ability there. Right. In the ring he's clearly 
the better of him and Rowan. And, it's interesting. Uh, it's kind of what they did with the Shield, right? Where Dean Ambrose was doing all the talking at first, yeah. And then Seth Rollins starts chiming. I don't see that happening. Roman Reigns. I don't, I don't, I don't see, see it happening. Luke Harper overtaking Bray Wyatt. No, but no, I think no, Luke Harper on his absolutely. own when they do the breakup, like you said, right? Uh, they'll they'll probably stay a tag team for a while. But I think ultimately Luke Harper's got the goods. Yeah, he can if it's sink or swim. I agree with swim. that. I agree with or that. At least float. Christopher know? Brown. Oh, oh we already took that one. Uh, Lance Winter is that Winter's player yes. in the chat? Okay. Uh, thoughts on the Bellator pay per view? We need to talk about I love that. Love Lance Winter. Yeah, that no doubt, no doubt. Um, there were two decisions on that card that bullshit. I did not agree with. It man, was the Will Brooks one Michael Chandler one. Event. Yeah, Will Brooks Michael Chandler, which was supposed to be Chandler Alvarez three originally. Right. Uh, Will Brooks got the nod, and it was a close fight. It was clearly two rounds. Uh, Brooks two rounds Chandler, and then it was who'd you give the fifth round to? Pretty much everybody gave it to Chandler. Two judges gave it to Will Brooks. We gave it to Chandler, man. Yeah. We had Chandler two of the, two winning of the three fight. judges gave it to Will Brooks. That yeah. that round, which yeah. is the one round where you're like, that's the one debatable round, I guess. But it was still a pretty obvious clear cut round for me, for right. Chandler. From what I remember, I was drunk. And I think I smoked weed that night too. Yeah, because you said you were passed out before the fights. And I was on my bed. But um, Saturday night, yeah. the, the real talk of the show was uh, Tito Ortiz. Yeah. Fights the uh, Bellator middleweight champion, Alexander Slamenko. So, you know, a legit guy, but if you look at him, he doesn't look impressive Less at all. Than. Even for middleweight, he's not impressive. And he's fighting Tito, who's a heavyweight who cuts the light heavyweight. You know, Tito's an enormous light heavyweight at 205. He's in the cage at like 230. I, uh, I don't mean to cut you off. I got. I don't think I can hold my pee in. For well, go. I'm in the middle of talking about something I can rant about. Shit. But you're a fucking guy. Wait till I'm finished and he says, oh, yeah, I got to go pee. Ah, he didn't cut me off at least. Thank you. No, uh, Tito Ortiz, Alexander Shlomenko. That was a case where Tito hasn't fought since, you know, he retired uh, from the UFC. He was inducted to the Hall of Fame, fought Forrest Griffin for the third time. little side fact, uh, the very first MMA show I ever went to, the first UFC show I ever went to, I don't remember the number, but it was in Anaheim, California. It was Tito Ortiz versus Forrest Griffin won their first fight. Uh, the main event was actually Andre Arlovsky, a guy that UFC just re-signed. He'll be returning to the UFC uh, heavyweight division to fight Brendan Schaub in his comeback fight. But uh, it was Arlovsky, Tim Sylvia, two in the main event. And that was the, uh, an amazing fight where, uh, I'm trying to remember, because uh, Silva knocked him, Sylvia knocked him out the first time. I think it was the second time where Arlovsky dropped Sylvia with a huge shot. And Sylvia fucking falls like a tree and then somehow pounces back up and within two seconds drops Arlovsky face first uh, so the crowd explodes when Arlovsky drops Sylvia because it was a huge punch and he's a big fucker 6'8 tumbling backwards uh, you know he does the stumble and then tree fall uh, so a 6'8 fucker going down like that and then he pops back up survives the onslaught two seconds later Dex Arlovsky Arlovsky fucking face plants into the mat so yeah the initial pop was Sylvia went down and an even bigger one when Arlovsky went down but uh, yeah the big story was Tito Ortiz beating Alexander Slamenko uh, his first win since the Ryan Bader win several years ago, and his one of only two wins he's had in like ten fucking years. So it was a pretty big deal for Tito. Can I say when I was watching Tito, and I I get that Tito won the fight. Well, he choked him out. He clearly Tito won. Tito didn't look. He looked old when we saw him in the first round. In, in, in the beginning of the first round, he just it didn't look like the same Tito. That we and, had, and I know he's getting old, but it just he looked well, slower. He's he physically looked, older than he really is because his amount of surgeries he's had. Yeah, he's got. Yeah. The, he had the same injury I have: L four, L five, S one. Right. Are uh, smashed together. You need level three fusion surgery. Yeah. It's the bottom, bottom two discs in your spine, top fucking disc in your ass, or whatever that bone is in your ass, right. all crunched together. <sighs> and you need fusion surgery for the space, whatever. That's what I've got. And it's right. agonizing. Right. I mean, yeah, I, I can play basketball, I can do this and that, but the next day I'm, uh, yeah, I can't yeah, even move. It hurts hurt so bad. Did I'm, Tito, I'm so stiff and sore. Did Tito, he would fight on that. Right, know? right. But uh, Tito didn't look... <laughs> no, he didn't look good. Right. And, and the he other thing is, he's he never been able to take a punch. In, in the 15, 20 years, wherever it's been that he's been fighting, Right. he never developed a style where he could roll with punches. And, and, and he gets that... Elbow, like he does the cross side, the cross right. side, the cross side, and he just does this until hopefully he can latch onto the guy. Right, right, and right. And because right. Schlemicka was so fucking small, mm -hmm. he was lighting him up. He was doing the blocking and then was able to grab him and, grab him and, and just overpower him, him right. down and then, yeah, eventually get the choke. 
if that would have been a bigger guy that was his size, even a not very skilled guy. Right. Tito probably wouldn't have survived that onslaught, or at least it wouldn't have turned out good for him. It would have, you know, led to more opportunities for the other guy. But uh, because the guy was so much smaller, and Tito could just overpower and manhandle him, he was able to, to not get hit with anything too clean, clinch, take him down, and then got an arm triangle uh, choke. And then the main event? Rampage and King Mo. Rampage was, uh, and King Mo. Three rounder. Three I disagree TNA with the decision. Stars on uh, on this show, man. Yeah. Rampage, King Mo, and Tito and Ortiz. And two of them were against each other. Two of them were against each other. Uh, what did you think of the main event, man? I know you disagreed with uh, the. I decision. thought it was like a it was like a, a shittier version, which is saying something because the first one wasn't that great. Of uh, Rampage for Shot Evans, it was a guy. It was Rampage. Trying to knock a guy out that he hates and have talk shit back and forth through the whole build up, which was just what him and Rashad did. They coached the Ultimate Fire that year with Kimbo on the on the cast right. and all that. So it was like a highly anticipated grudge match, and then Rampage took the fight off mm -hmm. to go shoot the A Team movie where he played Mr. T. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be in Memphis. UFC was going to take him to Memphis, which was his hometown, which is where Bellator that we're talking about actually took place was in Memphis. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of funny, ironic that way, where he's going to fight a shit talking black dude that he had a beef with for all these years, and then finally. And, and, the, and the dude was a wrestler that he's fighting, you know, King Mo, just like Rashad was. And the only thing that that, did, that that dude wanted to do the whole fight, just like Rashad, was just shoot in, try and take him down, keep him right. in his cage, not exchange with him. Right. Um, by the end of the fight, King Mo's eye was swollen shut, you know, he was fucked up. Right. But, um, yeah, long story short, it was not a great fight. King Mo made it boring. Uh, Rampage made it exciting in, in spurts and spots. Uh, I think it was a clear cut. I forget who won one and two, but either Rampage won round one. King Mo won round two, both were clear, or vice versa. King Mo won round one, Rampage won round two. Right. Round three was the fight, and uh, King Mo clearly won that round. Right. And that was one of those where when they read the decision, you looked at me, and I was I was like this. Yeah, yeah. I like, literally was, uh, like, wow, you got to be kidding me, man. It was King Mo crazy. won. Right. And they right. gave it to Rampage. Yeah. But Rampage that was the uh, show. said, you Decent know, it wasn't, show. wasn't the fight that he wanted, but Rampage won. So are they going to do Rampage and... Uh, Tito? Tito again. I mean, they absolutely they certainly could. And then they wanted Chandler Alvarez because Alvarez has got one left fight on his contract, now, but Chandler lost. So what are they going to do with Alvarez with that well, one fight left? The thing is, Alvarez is the champion. Okay. So they had Will Brooks Chandler, Michael Chandler, for the interim title. So they've so got to do Will Brooks. Brooks the champion, they've they have do, to do right. it. If they don't, they're clearly ducking the fights that should be right. made to make a bigger fight because it's more important. And Alvarez's last fight is this one, and he's got to face Will Brooks now. So, so Bellator may never get that, that they, third fight with Alvarez. They, and, they wanted Chandler to win that fight so bad, man, so that they could do Alvarez against Chandler. It didn't happen, though. Yeah. So Will Brooks has got to step up. They gave up him a guy that was too good. They should have gave him a fucking easy fight. Nobody would right. It wouldn't have made a difference in the amount of people buying that pay-per-view. Like, oh, Chandler's opponent isn't credible. Nobody cared. They were buying Rampage and uh, King Mo and Tito's return. All right, we are running almost an hour late tonight, so we're going to get through this. Uh, the rest of Rapid Fire, A.J. Clark. Please don't make fun of me, but during Bellator 120, which we were discussing, me and my voices in my head had a voices debate about which one is worse, having your opponent make, make you tap out or getting knocked out by your opponent in MMA. This is Ryan Clark's biggest fan in the chat. I didn't know A.J. Clark was Ryan Clark's biggest I've fan in the got chat. voices in my A.J. Clark, oh, yeah, Randy oh. Orton, is always the first person, A.J. Clark. When you post something on Facebook, he's always the I've very... I've got voices it, in Yeah, you got voices I've got voices He's always the very mind. first person to uh, comment. We need to, we need to yeah, play. I don't uh, have it. Don't uh, know. You don't if have you wouldn't have made a big I'm thing, then they wouldn't have even known. I'm sorry, all right. Anyways, no, I was trying always, to stall for I know. you. I I was stalling by talking, but you kept pointing out what I was trying okay. to do, and then when I wasn't able to do I'm it... I'm sorry. <laughs> Download Randy Orton's theme for Take Ryan Clark's long. biggest fan next week. But I hate right. voices in his head. So anyway, uh, what do you think is uh, what's more tapping embarrassing out or, is or knockout? Which Tap weird? out or knockout? Well, he's saying which is worse. More embarrassing, which is worse is the same as which is most embarrassing. Get knocked out. That's worse. Tap it out. I'd much rather You're tap You're losing it. either way. Yeah, but if you get knocked out, yeah, if you, you get look knocked bad. Out, right, right. Like a You're guy right. knocked you the fuck out. Like You're if your right. girlfriend's You're sitting right. in the front row and a guy gets you in your choke and, you, and you're like, ah, ah, shit. All right, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you get... <laughs> yeah, knocked out. Down, knocked like your girl's out. watching you're Which right. one would you rather her see? You're right. You now that I think about it a little bit more. Yeah. All right, Vincent Nugent, if you guys watched last week's edition of TNA Impact Wrestling, what do you think of MVP, the director of wrestling operations, putting... 
Is that what up they call him? Trio, yes. Just like Kane, the director of Operation? Just like Kane. Oh it's the God. same freaking thing, dude. Uh, a trio faction of sorts uh, featuring himself, Bobby Lashley, and Kenny King. Well, MVP turned on Eric Young, you know, Is basically. Is TNA's Nation of Domination? Kenny King's black, right? <laughs> Kenny King's yeah. black. Uh, he's also a Chippendale dancer. Is he really? Yes. You know, they're on Legends House, they just had him do Chippendale he, Kenny King was on there. Was he on Legends, on Legends House? House. I didn't know that. He featured a uh, cameo. We put it up on the website. He was one of the real dancers. He was one of the real oh, Chip shit. and Dell dancers. I did not know that. That were featured okay. on Legends House, but it was before he signed his contract with TNA. Okay. Legends House filmed like a year and a half ago. No, like two, two three years, years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. About two years ago. So, um, But MVP turned out and basically was going to introduce a Slammiversary opponent, uh, called him out, said, come on out, and then boom, hit him from behind. And uh, and that was that. Well, he turned heel, MVP. MVP. Right? That's where he ago. turned. That's where he turned heel. Right. Paul Velasquez is oh. up next. No, John Morgan's up next. Would Roman Reigns benefit from being paired up with Paul Heyman? Oh, I thought that's what you just read. No. They call MVP There's, the director of operations. Kane was called. That was Vincent Nugent. Oh, this so he's saying the same Paul, thing, basically. It's pretty much the same well, thing. Well, then we skip it. Yeah. John Morgan, thanks for the question, Paul Velasquez. There's a shout-out. John Morgan says, would Roman Reigns benefit from being paired up with Paul Heyman? Or is that counterproductive to what WWE has in mind for Roman's future? It would be counterproductive. Counterproductive, I agree. You, wanna, you don't want him as a heel. You want his baby face. And even though eventually turning on Heyman and working with Brock would be a big thing, Good for Cesaro. Roman Reigns should, like Dick, you said, Triple H, SummerSlam. That makes the most sense. That makes the most sense yeah. where you can feature, you know. You don't want to take Reigns. away from him by focusing on Heyman and have him just be Heyman's guy. No, he's supposedly above that. Right. He's bigger than that. Vincent Nugent. We're going to take two from Vincent Nugent right now. What do you guys think about TNA's newest stable? The Menagerie, what? I think. Menagerie? I is think. that what I've never heard it said. Called? But right, yeah. right. Uh, so far featuring Nux, Rebel, Crazy Steve, and The Freak. And how about Rebel and that flexibility of hers? Damn. And then his other question is, do you, did you guys watch Ring of Honor's, uh, the did. both of Ring of Honor's New Japan Pro Wrestling's uh, latest iPay-Per-Views, Global Wars, and War of the Worlds? If so, your World thoughts on... War of the Worlds. That's World, hard to say. War, War of the Worlds. Yeah. I watched uh, both of them um, last week and then this week from New York City. I wanted to be at the uh, New York City event. Um, I thought Toronto show, uh, Global Wars, Global Jim Wars. Ross was there. He was at the uh, Toronto show, right? He had a uh, one-man comedy yeah, show. Trish I thought, it. right? I thought uh, both shows Trish were good were. Too. I know. Fuck me, I she know. looked good, man. For having a kid too. God and, and being damn, married. she looked good. That young um, works. But uh, I thought both both of the uh, shows right. were were very good. Um, especially the uh, it was Kevin Steen against um, um, Strong Adam Cole. Adam Cole. Adam Cole. You heard the, uh, Steen's uh, uh, WWE's offering him a developmental. Team. Yes. Uh, and it was Roderick. Like it. it was Roderick like Strong. Roderick Strong. ACH. Whoever the fuck that is. Right. Kevin Steen, I think, was the three. And Kevin Steen was the right three top. Kevin Steen Cousin. got one of the. Uh, Kevin Steen was offered a deal. Yeah. Right. Uh, but both uh, of the ROH I pay per views from last weekend. He's going to be off the deal. I don't think he was. Very good. I don't think he was, but I think yeah. he's going to be. Right. Uh, as far as the menagerie, I haven't seen him yet, but I know the rebel chick with the flexibility. So much. She used to be a Dallas Cowboys cheater, right. cheerleader. Cheerleader, right? She just looks like a typical thumb bimbo. Right. But I, when I've seen her, like the the cowboy uh, cheerleader promo pictures I've seen her, she looks like a dumb bimbo, like a typical right. dumb hot chick. <laughs> uh, like Carmen Electra was on a show once. They said Carmen uh, Electra, God, she, she's, she's still the smoking prototypical right. dumb hot chick. She right. said on a show once. They asked her. They said, "What's Carmen?" What's the one thing in this world that you can't live without? And she thought, dead serious, for like 10 seconds, where you could see she's really thinking about this. She said dick. What's the one thing I can't live without? And she said, dick. Food. Food. <laughs> no shit, you can't live without food. I mean, and you can't live without oxygen either, Carmen. We mean, like, what's your guilty pleasure? What's one thing you can't... She's awesome, bro. Some hot chick. Carmen's awesome. Her and Jenny McCarthy ball. But Rebel looked like a dumb hot chick, and oh, I love Jenny McCarthy. What was the but, show? Uh, no, Rebel Both of like them used to host a show. Singled out okay. on MTV. Thank but uh, Carmen, uh, Carmen liked you. Rebel. Rebel looked like a dumb hot chick in the, in the Cowboy Cheerleader picture, but when they show her, I put a couple of galleries up, because we got your gallery shit fixed on uh, right. uh, WZRonline.com slash photos, and yes, she looked sir. real fucking hot to me. Yeah. Yeah. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? Hey, man, what's up? What's up, brother? Uh, I'm, I'm calling from Owensboro, Kentucky, and... Uh, I, I was just wondering what what y'all think about uh, this uh, deal with WWE and Vince McMahon and uh, 
the uh, what is uh, the dividends and all that crap. The WWE's deal stock. with what, sir? All, all, all the crap that has to do with the stockholders. He's being investigated huh. again. Yeah, I mean, we, we, have, we did a whole 20 minute rant on that earlier, but um, we talked about it earlier, man. I mean, right. WWE stock. I mean, thanks it's, for the call. It's it's tanked, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it, it's not good news with the yeah. network numbers and everything else. I would, to be honest with you, man, I would suggest we're gonna put the archive up um, later that. tonight and uh, tomorrow. Too we much did to get into, bro. we did like a 20 25 minute rant on uh, on that. We talked all about it. I mean, what the numbers mean. Um, we went very in depth on it, yeah, and we had a little debate about it too. So, uh, right, archives are. Available. I'm guessing you missed the uh, the yeah, first, 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 but uh, the archives are available on youtubecom slash wzr archive. There you go. So uh, check it out over there. Uh, Daniel Humphreys uh, from the UK does a great fucking awesome job, job on it. Man. That channel awesome is so job. cool looking. Right, uh, it's really cool. Yeah. Right. Um, John Morgan back again. Yeah, oh, missed we missed right uh, Ali. A dare. Uh, will WWE have to make cuts of some sort due to the stock crash? Obviously not the TNA levels where they now look and feel Bush League, but will production value, etc. go down? Listen, production WWE, value will not go down. They will release them, guys. I think that when it's releases, all said and done over this, right? Oh, yeah. They got I think releases costs. are probably coming. I mean, listen, WWE is a multi-million dollar company. I mean, we're talking... They were just a week or two ago, a multi, uh, over a, a multi billion. billion not a multi-billion, company. but over it's, a billion dollar company. It's not like WWE is going broke and this no. is the end of WWE. They have got millions and millions of dollars. Not only that, but listen, stock prices go up, they go down. WWE took a risk with the network. My personal feeling, and I think Boone agrees with this, is so far the network has been a fail. Uh, not a not a not a complete. You can't failure. determine yet what I, it is. We can't. But it's not right, looking good. Right. It's not looking. No. It's not what they Certainly wanted. Not as good as they would have hoped. It's not what they yeah. wanted as far as numbers are concerned. Is it a failure? No. You had six hundred thousand. You had six hundred thousand people signed up. You haven't debuted overseas in the United Kingdom and uh, Canada yet. But the fact is. Numbers Got are it. way below. Is it a failure? No. No. Is it a disappointment? Yes. Yes. I agree with that. <coughs> John Morgan says, now that AT&T has bought DirecTV, will that bring around the possibility it's of WWE? Deal. Will that bring around the possibility of WWE returning to DirecTV, DirecTV's pay-per-view list? No, and because wasn't it ATT Uverse that also dropped WWE recently? They did drop. And wouldn't that be part right. of their pay-per-view commitments and stuff? So if they take over Directv and their pay-per-view department, Uverse doesn't want WWE or right. turns their, their 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 thing down because of the network. No. If they adopt Directv, Directv has dropped WWE pay-per-views and AT and T has dropped pay-per-views. No, so he they says both dropped now that AT and T has bought Directv. Correct, but Directv doesn't offer pay-per-views That's already. My point. He's right. saying because AT and T bought Directv and because Directv dropped WWE. Right. Will now that AT and T own them, will it be? Oh, now they'll be back on the Directv list because people who had Directv that now they have AT and T. All right, well Directv didn't offer WB privilege. Maybe AT and T will now that they own Directv. And I was just saying no because before they owned Directv, their pay per view uh, department, Uverse, dropped WB as well. So right. just because Directv is now owned by them, both they don't want them either. Both so. companies are no longer carrying WWE yes. reviews. So that's what I was saying. And now that they've merged, AT and T, like exactly yeah, what you're saying. Exactly AT, what I was saying. AT and T, U, and Directv, both <coughs> of them currently don't carry WWE pay per views. So yeah. you merge them together. Why are they? I was basically informing uh, the guy that because he probably didn't realize because the Uverse story wasn't that big of a story. Right, you're right. Directv was huge. In demand was. What was the other one? Uh, in demand. Dish Direct Network and Directv. Dish in Network. demand hasn't dropped them yet. I don't think. Time Warner hasn't dropped them yet. In demand. In, yeah. I think in demand. So yeah, it was DirecTV and right. Dish that dropped them. Uh, a lot of people didn't realize AT and T Uverse. I didn't even know they existed. That was the third one. Did yeah. you even know that they existed as a pay per view provider? AT and T. You know, I had no I had idea. I never heard of them, I but no I heard idea. that they dropped WWE, and I had to report about it. So just because AT and T owns DirecTV now, doesn't mean oh we're back on pay per view because the new company owns us because that company has their pay per view right. partner too, and they didn't right. want them when they, they bought them for forty five billion dollars. DirecTV. Uh, AT and T. You bought. Uh, Direct TV for forty five billion. I saw it the other billion? day. Billion, billion, bro. Billion, billion with a B, with a B. I saw it on CNN the other day. I said, "Wow, 
out. AT&T. I saw somebody else got out, bought out for a couple billion or something. Ah, dude, it, it was trending on Facebook. I remember seeing it. Yeah, yeah, it's what crazy. Do, though? Um, let's see, let's see. Where'd we leave off here, man? We left off with or uh, John Morgan. We're right here. Oh, we're all the way down there. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we are. Uh, no, John Morgan again. Also, Ryan, about the topic you and Boom were discussing in the chat, the people who didn't order the the, the network for WrestleMania still had the option of ordering pay-per-views on DirecTV and Dish Network back then. Back then, Six correct. Four, yeah. um, they didn't have that option. They now, don't have that option. They don't now. have that option now. Uh, the pay-per-view... Or the, uh, okay. They don't have that option Only now available on the WWE. Users. If the price is only 10 to $15 a month... I think a lot of people will admit to themselves that 10 to $15 a month for all the pay-per-views plus the library content is a lot cheaper and better is a lot is a lot cheaper and a better deal than switching providers just to see pay-per-views. Well, that's true. Bottom but line is, when you order WrestleMania, that's a million or whatever the fuck normally before the network existed. WrestleMania would be a million, you know, around that. Mm -hmm. Not domestically, but, you know, total up. Individual pay per views, B shows, payback, whatever the fuck, they get what, one hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand. So you've got six hundred and sixty-seven thousand subscribed now. Any of those six sixty-seven, you have to think would be the people before the network that would be the kind that would buy payback, that would that buy, would buy WrestleMania. So those people, to answer his question, have already bought it. Right. They're not gonna. Oh, well, just because uh, this company dropped them on pay per view, let me get the network because uh, instead of switching pay per view providers, no. If they want WWE pay-per-views, they've already bought the network, most likely. Right. Most likely. I know WrestleMania was offered separately, but if, <coughs> like, you, like he's saying, if you're willing to spend that much for just the pay-per-view, and you can spend the same amount to get the pay-per-view and all this other shit, you probably did that. Not just that pay-per-view, but numerous pay-per-views plus all the other and shit. And the content. Right. Certainly, right. if you didn't do it for WrestleMania, of those 700000 that would cover the 150000 that would Absolutely. buy payback before right. WrestleMania, before the network. That would buy payback. That would buy money. So those people are already signed up. So right. I don't think it's going to affect the number at all. Right. Right. Ali Adair is back. He says, in an opposite view to my earlier question, with the stock the stock dropping, history shows WWE product goes off the wall when their backs are against the wall. Do you think this will improve the quality of the product as they are forced to bring their A game? Cheers, lads. Love the show today. You know, that's like taking it back to the uh, Monday Night Wars not, where WCW was putting on one show and, and Raw was putting... Close to well, the that. Now, say, that, if they wait, did, wait. that's what it would be like. Yeah, they're doing something where because their back's against the wall, they're going to do what they would do in the Attitude Era, which is go all out. Mm -hmm. They're a PG product now. There is no competition to, oh, if we don't fucking bring our game up, these guys are going to be better than us. No matter what they do, they're still the, the leader in the industry. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, we have to beat this TNA or RO. Those aren't even on the same league. So as long as they're doing reasonably well, they have no reason to really dramatically change it. I mean, they could do adjustments here and there, but they don't need to, oh, fuck, we have to change everything. I don't know if they're doing reasonably well. They drew a 2.7 rating this week. Reasonably well in business -wise. Stock is plummeting. They're, yeah. They need to get business back oh, up. Yeah. Right now they're going uh, through a huge slump. You gotta. You would think that, hey, a two point seven rating on Raw this past That's week. That's not such a big deal. Uh, the stock know. is a huge when they deal. when they drop below three point oh, and stock has more to do with with business, the business well, aspect of things. They've but got their TV rights deal locked in. Really, the ratings don't really matter anymore. Right, they're gonna get paid. What they're gonna get paid, whether that rating, you know, whatever. How long is the deal for? Do we five know? years? Five years yeah. is that what it is? Five okay. years. All right, no doubt. Um, we and then the last we one. We gave a full extra hour. We gave almost a full wow. It will be by the time we will be. Coming, All right. Sean Michael, the last one. I'm in the chat watching the show. I'm drinking with you. You know, it seems like we started, drink, trend, right? Right? we started a trend. We've made a bunch of people now. We started a trend. On a weeknight. Every Tuesday, yeah. it seems like, like we've been watching the chat room tonight, right? And everybody says, drink to that, drink to that. Well, they have drink drinking games. Right, there's a drinking Every game. Every time Boone says, hey now, or, or it's something, when right? Mark says dot com, or whatever the fuck, drink. They've turned our show into a drinking game. That's what I you know. I think they have. No, I know they have. They've told us right. many times. For years it's been around. Yeah. Drinking game. It was used to be hey now, because I always say hey now. Right. I don't say it that much. What do we, gotta, what do we have to say to make them I don't know. Them? They have their own rules where it's like a private thing. Like, oh, everybody knows. Is that what everybody knows except for... Except Boone except says this a lot. Us. Clark says this a lot. Every, <laughs> time he, or every time Clark does a plug, like, 
you know, drink or something. We got a drink or something. We don't yeah. know the rules, but so that's when hey, you know whatever. you've broken through and you got a good show when uh, they make you a drink. All right, so he says uh, you guys are cussing and bullshitting. Oh, this is the car. One of your mods just kicked me out. Oh, that's the call that we had earlier. All right, yeah. so we're good on that. Uh, Sean, you're all taking care of Michael. Bro. Yeah, resolve that earlier. And in the future, I know the mods are doing their job. I say, continue. Yes, if you see words like that, kick them. Absolutely. If they're calling people that, if they're quoting something we say, I don't think that warrants a, a, a boot. I agree, and I I, I, I think that they figured that out tonight. Yeah, right. God knows he's if, not he's not a mean guy or nothing. We got good he's people. Very good guy. Uh, listen, all yeah. the people that come here every Tuesday night, you guys that listen to the uh, the show, you guys that are on my Facebook yeah, Dino's page, Dino's still in there. We got him out of bed, and he's stuck with us. Got him out of bed, huh? In England, you got to think it's right. like fucking two a.m. over there. And one more plug. What's up? Uh, BWRradio.com, I want to say. BWR Wrestling. Wrestling.com. Whatever we said earlier, right. that's it. They'll tell Whatever me about I'll, I'll interject and interrupt. All right, no doubt. So, everybody that, uh, listen. Oh, there, they just drank again right now because John Morgan says. Clark, we cut each other off. Every time Boone and Clark cut each other off, that's one of the drinking game rules. Well, Jesus, they're going to be shit be based. Junk, drunk they're going to be shit. shit based before the end of the. All right, so listen. Uh, everybody that comes out, listen. You guys are on my Facebook page. You're on. Uh, you're here in the chat room every Tuesday night, and you listen to us for some reason or another. I don't know why, but we gave him three hours tonight, man. Three hours. We didn't have any SmackDown tapings. That was taped earlier in the day. Got him up on the website. All right, that'll do it, man. It's BWR.com, supposedly. That's it. BWR.com. Check it out. Dino UK. BWR.com. Great show. Great guy. Great stuff. BWRradio.com says Dino. All right, BWRradio. Jesus Christ, son. We're out of here. Oh, you got we'll see ones. you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. WZROnline.com for Matt Boone. Hold on a second. You gotta give me a second. I don't know. Forgot about that. I don't even see it. I moved it. We're gonna have to start over, anyways. But anyway, Go ahead. so listen, we're here every Tuesday night. 8 to 10 Eastern Time on WZROnline.com. <laughs> Full! Matt Boone! That's me! Ryan Clark. Hey, that's him. So see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. Back to a two hour format next Started Tuesday. from the bottom, now my whole team.